All right, welcome everyone back to the terrifying terror known as, as the Tontine. We are here with our inappropriately named the Scarlet Stockings, who are based off of the foulest, most destructive force in the universe, a baseball team from New England. Now, I'm going to open up my notes here and try to remember what the fuck we were doing uh, last time when we left off. Oh, yes, of course, they beat the ever-loving shit out of each other. And now they are licking their wounds, and I have a little narration thing that's going to go up here. All right. You, have, uh, you now are rejoicing after defeating one another, and who was the last person standing again? I totally forgot. Yeah, so it was Savio somehow. Because, <laughs> because, because of a kindness. <laughs> All right, so during the slam and salmon fight, um, that's slam what I've called it. Yep, nice, I had to. Nice. Um, Savio emerged victorious as they crawl out of the muck with, like, one HP, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Brutally beating to death. Um, you see a, a official clad in thick woolen robes wearing a Nushanka kind of float down to you and go, congrats, you have won the tournament. The king will see you at the palace at 6 p.m. promptly. Here is your inv invitation and four other invitations for any guests of your choosing. We shall see you shortly. It's around noon right now, so it's like lunchtime. Thank you, um, family. Um, does... Does Dilbert need an invitation? You don't need Must an invitation. For... Does he have his vest? <laughs> That's not legally required, actually. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it is required here. Does he have his vest? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, it's good. Very, it's very cute. It just pops on. Mm -hmm. It's got, like, it's leather so studs on it and everything, and, like, sick flames on the mm -hmm. side. It's required by the Code it's of totally Code. Totally and there yeah. is totally leather tooling on, like, the edges of it that, that are pickled. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, uh, let's go through the initial narration, then we can make some orders. Oh, I, um, I eat those ten, I, I, I eat ten good berries. Okay, good, so you got ten HP. Um, you all can oh, take, uh, the equivalent of a long rest over the next, uh, course of time. You have, what, about five hours to kill. Um, you're welcome to bumble around town and what have you a little bit before the meeting. What would we like to do? You're inside Korth. Um, there's things you can imagine. There's shops, apothecaries. Um, there's a large newsstand actually near the entrance to the Coliseum. Um, feel free to just roll for the long rest right now. Let's say that they just give you a bunch of adrenaline and and and, and, sp and magical cocaine when you leave, and you just get a long rest. Like, okay. I don't care. On top of the hallucinogens? Uh, no, they give you they give you the downers for that. You know, you kind of mellow out a little bit. Downers do not cancel out. These are very good downers. Okay. Uh, they, they, they sober you the fuck up. You, you see everything. Um, you cannot be convinced otherwise. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and roll for your long okay. rest. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Oh, I do. How many inspirations did I get from the... It was like one. I'm somehow already fully healed. I already did yours. Uh, yeah. I think I basically did everyone's already, just so okay. I didn't have to... Cool. I think I did Sav yeah, Savio. I think everyone mm -hmm. should be... Yep, you should all be, have already benefited from your long rest. Um, you exit the Coliseum, beaten to death. Um, I guess everyone emerges in a, in, a, in a stretcher, and you just get unceremoniously dumped on the outskirts outside of the Coliseum, and they toss packages on top of everyone. Um, and they toss a package to Savio. Savio, if you want to make a dex thing to catch the package, the corpses automatically succeed. The guy um, is very good at baseball, which now canonically exists in Karnath. <laughs> Canon. Just a dex check? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a dex check. You catch it. Um, you open it up. Um, it's a bunch of healing poultices and whatnot to resuscitate everyone. Um, I imagine you're going to administer the dose to your compatriots so that they emerge from their stupor. Yep. Okay, good. I play dead. <laughs> Dilbert comes up and just, like, sniffs at the side of your head. Shh, Big, shh. scaly tongue. Well, the shh. tongue's not scaly. It's Dilbert and Mark. Scaly tongue. <laughs> yeah. So, like, the raspy stuff that cats do, so it, like, takes yeah. off a little flesh. Yeah. Something unpleasant. Yeah. Um, like mix between a snake tongue and a all right, you have all awoken, and you have all just, uh, you know, kind of ceremoniously beat the shit out of each other, so what do we have to say to each other here? Just that was awkward fucking silence. awesome. <laughs> no guilt, no shame. Good game. <laughs> I would like to find a butcher. 
A butcher? Yes. You want to go to a butcher? <laughs> to add to his slimy meat pockets. <laughs> okay. Um, there is a butcher around the corner. Um, it is called um, Igor's House of Meats. Meats is in quotations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, are you going to solicit anyone else to accompany you to Igor's House of Meats? I mean, I will offer okay. to anybody that would... He says would, meats, so maybe yeah. they have pickles there. Might have pickled meats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or meat disgusting. pickles. Huh. More. Honestly, less you disgusting. Know, I would be intrigued to try that. I okay, would not. So is, is somebody at the counter when I go in? You open the door, um, there's a large, burly human um, sitting across um, the counter. He's got uh, two large scars over each of his eyes. Um, he's so enormous, in fact, and the, the ceiling of this building seems to be slightly lower than it should be, mm-hmm. and he's kind of hunched over like this the entire time. Okay. And he's like, hello, I am Igor. How can I assist you? Is there anything that is immediately visible um, that is for sale? Uh, he's got everything. He's got deer. He's got foxes. Um, there's even what seems to be a bear carcass that is hanging up in one of the corners. And it says, um, you know, make your feast the toast of a town. Eat the fucking bear, you know. Uh, it's got little apples in the front of it in case you want to stuff it. Um, and there's also a little sign that's written in common that says, um, I highly recommend making, what is the structural equivalent of like a turducken, but it's like a, a deer shoved inside a bear, and then they put a turkey inside the deer, and then a duck inside the turkey, and then everything. And it's got those animals in front of it too, and it tells you you can get them all for a combo deal if you want. Uh, no pig? Uh, <laughs> the pigs are over in the corner. They, they don't do well in the... In no, the, but in, in the turducken. Yeah, there's a pig. Okay, so okay. it'd be like a bear, a, a deer, uh, a pig... A duck. No goat. Uh, no Use your imagination. Yeah, there's goats. Yeah. They got everything. So the, the place I'd, smells. I'd imagine, <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine that he's just like hyper fixating on like what is available rather than the person. So then like by the time he's finished like evaluating what's actually here, you could tell like this is not the guy for social situations probably. So he just is up to the counter. He's just like, good day, sir or ma'am. Uh... <laughs> I would like to buy a hundred pounds of anything you have. A hundred pounds? Um, <laughs> would you like it to be good meat? Best meat? The best. Oh, all right. Only uh, the best. I'm actually going to Google how, how much is bear meat per pound. It's probably a fuck dollar. It's probably a lot it's, of meat. It's, it's so probably much. a lot. It's so much. 1895. Good lord. <laughs> That's not that bad. That's eighteen hundred ninety-five dollars so or a hundred pounds. I mean, you can afford it. Yeah, I mean, how yes. How heavy is your average bear? It's, it's like eight hundred pounds. Yeah, it's like type of bear. Would that count as embezzling, embezzling company funds? No. All right, so it's going to be sixteen thousand uh, dollars. I'm going to say this is about a thousand gold for the entire bear and the eight hundred pounds. Good lord. Do you need? A whole bear for this purpose. Can you carry 800 pounds of a bear? I think you can. Yeah. That I can do. <laughs> the debate is, is it going to be enough for the purpose that I'm intending? Have you told Boot what you're doing with this? No. Okay. What are you I haven't doing told anybody. with this? Yeah, what are you doing with this? Well, we're going to see the king, and I wanted to dress nice. So I wanted to make a suit. Oh, so you got a bear. Why don't you just ask for the skin? The guy is wearing a bearskin suit. Like, that, is a, mm, that is a good idea. <laughs> I mean, we can eat I didn't the think bear. Of, I didn't think of that. I really like that. I don't think we can, There's only, like, four or five of us. I don't think that we can eat 800 pounds of meat. Do you have the miscellaneous viscera of the livestock in here? Yes, we use that to make pies. Uh, like 300 pounds. How many people do you have on pie making duty? <laughs> That's a lot of pie. That's a lot, <laughs> That's a lot, a lot of, of fucking pie. pie. The Carnathi are a strong, hearty, <laughs> pie loving people. I mean, they get high on salmon and beat each other up. This is true. <laughs> like, like, the meat of a pie would only be like half of its weight, though, so it's like 600 pounds worth of pie. They have like presses of chasing it, it keeps it like 
fresh. Yeah. Fresh for like ever. Yeah. Okay. So you have a stock of them. Okay. Sometimes someone comes in here and just orders 300 pounds of organ meat, you know? That is true. And you gotta be ready. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who that would be. Yeah. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. So, how any of us. much viscera do you want? Enough to cover my body. <laughs> how many inches thick? It's gonna be a lot. I'm Why are sure. you going to cover your body in organs? Well, I'm trying to dress for a special occasion. Wait, you're making the suit out of the organs and not the hive? Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. <laughs> uh, it really could be either or. Whichever is most practical, really. I think like 15 pounds of viscera would probably be enough to like kind of thickly coat you. Yeah. And I'm going to say it's like five gold. There so you just go. knock five gold off your thing. There you he, go. he he goes and takes out like this large sealed metal container and opens it up and it's just full of guts. And he takes like, a scoop and just scoops them up into like um, a small like little magical box and everything. And you know he includes the magical container for such a good price in there for free. And he hands it to you. And he's like that's five gold, thirty pounds of guts. I reach into the the bacon pocket, and I just bring out five gold. Just snap it on the table, grease and all. Like he presses it, it away, and he grabs it. <laughs> Half rotted pieces of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pogs it. Just take uh, five off your total. Um, you basically all have. Um, I think. Look up how much Jack gave you in actual. Yeah. Uh, how much gold did we actually have, like individually? One hundred seventy thousand plus whatever the hell. Um, Holy dumb shit. Okay. Jack gave you. That's yeah. Which I, I think was like. An extra ten thousand gold. So you should have one hundred eighty thousand gold. Wow. One eighty. It will make you over encumbered. So just keep track of it and like. I will keep it in a bank. <laughs> yeah, keep it in a bank. Otherwise, it will kill you. All right. Now, is there anything else we'd like to do? I think that's too much because it just brought it back down to. Yeah. Yeah. It, it won't let me enter that much gold. No. I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put add it in it. a journal entry and just keep it. Yeah, I'm just gonna like add it. Add an item to loot. I'm money. adding it to locations of interest. My so. money. <laughs> uh, how much again? 180,000. Let's just say 180,000. It's a decent amount of money. A decent? Yeah, it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable now. <laughs> Crash an entire economy. That's a good idea. I'll just say that I carry a certain amount on my person, and then the rest of it's just in a bank. Okay. Yeah, a house Kundrak bank, and you can just take out a deposit or something. Yeah. All right, so you get your viscera bags. Is there anything anyone else wants to do before you have to putz over to the king's palace? Um, I mean, we're in a bazaar, right? Shops yeah, and stuff. Yeah, everywhere. there's a couple other stores. Yeah, what else is around that looks interesting? Uh, you name it, they got it. Mm. Let me open up this uh, fucking list of Shop generator. Forgot about this. Location Thorpe. You know, Metropolis type trader. Okay, there we go. There's one of each a trader, an armor, a weaponsmith, an alchemist, a scribe, and a wand, right? So, what is everyone interested in going to? What would a wand might sell? Other than wands, obviously. Just wands. Let's find Just out. Just wands? Well, Fastenburg Roper. He was once an adventurer, but retired to marry and raise Yeah, and he just sell wands. That's it. Literally just wands. Yeah. All right. So which store? Uh, Rex already did their thing, which is buying a bunch of guts. <laughs> uh, wants to go next. Do we want to visit any Do they store? have any pickles? Pickles? I bet the trader has pickles. Yeah, we'll go to the trader then. So we want to go to the trader? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we are at the trader. Um, let me see, stout. You under it is a stout male dwarf. Um, he's wearing a hat made of mithril, and there's a bunch of signs all over the store that say no trolls allowed. There's also various other sigils lying around in dwarvish, so I'm here to read dwarvish. Um, he's wearing a hat maybe. of mithril? No. Yeah. How do I only know Oh, no, that's Dilbert. How do I know Draconic in the first place? <laughs> Don't question things. I picked that? I guess. Uh, uh, no mesh. I might have comprehend language. I have a bunch of weird spells. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have comprehend languages, though, so. 
I'll do that. Alright. I don't I'll probably be under it. You're gonna do comprehend languages? Yeah, because it has the like tools sign and some weird sigils. I wanna see if like this is a shop I should avoid. Mm. Are you a troll? No, but I don't wanna you see that the he dwarvish him if he's the dwarvish sigils are basically wards and other protected elements to keep trolls out of the store. You can tell the guy doesn't like trolls. It's like ugh, you be trolls. No. I I step in the door to demonstrate no. To the best of my knowledge, no. He gets up and kind of hurriedly goes over to one of the doors, and there's like a small green crystal to the side of the door, and he taps it. And starts going a little bit, and he's like, "Aye, right, good. You're not trolls. All right. Why don't... Why are you so freaked out about trolls? They're constantly robbing me wares and taking care of everything that I have. I hate trolls. Mm. They're constantly screaming in from the moorland, disrupting trade, ruining everything. What does uh, the spell rat tattoo do? It gives you fly. Just mm-hmm. gives you once a day at will fly or something. Else. Can I buy that? Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh there's some dope things here. And I'll, scroll, uh, I'll scroll through the list really quick. Um, Rod of the Pad Keeper, Rod of the Pad Keeper, Rod of the Pad Keeper. A plus two weapon dart. Um, I'll make it plus two any weapon you want because darts are stupid. Um, plus two weapon quarter staff. Every strike by this weapon is accompanied by a spray of phantasmal blood. So based. Mm-hmm. Um, an amulet of the plains, which uh, is agitating. Um, this one is locked in a small silver case. What does it? What does an? A- is it like a, like a pocket plane shift or? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. here. Look. I'll look it up for you really quick. Um, if you want to know what they are, you have to ask him in character, and then I'll explain it. What does that amulet of the plains do? Oh, see, so you have a good eye. You can use the uh, amulet. To name a location that you're familiar with, and you got to make, uh, got to think real hard about it. And if you do it well enough, I'll cast plane shift on yourself, and you end up there. Um, if you don't, you'll get sent off to like some kind of random location. Just try to make sure that you don't, uh, you don't think about another place while you're thinking about the place you want to go. But remember, these are like twenty thousand gold. Mm-hmm. That's nothing. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can afford it. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a fun way to fuck with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll take that. How much was that again? 20,000 gold. I'm going to make us go to Innistrad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so deduct 20000 Yeah. Um, you hand him a letter of credit and everything. Um, it's at, we're just going to say that you have house congrats, letters of credit. Um, you hand him over the money and everything. He's like, I've had this thing for years, and no one's ever been rich enough to afford to pay for this. I'm closing up shop right now. Thank okay. you so much, I can retire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wait, I think... Well, oh, the rest of them are going to spend like you did. I guess I could spare a few more minutes. <laughs> All right. Get this guy a second and third beach house. Uh, there's a sword of vengeance. Boy, tentacle rod. That one's interesting. <laughs> so does the barrier tattoo affect base AC or just give you a 12 AC? Is he 12 plus dex, if I remember. Okay. Gives you a base AC. I think about 12 for this one. It's the uncommon one. Let's find out here, shall we? All right, yeah, small. Gives you an armor class of 12 plus your dex. You can use a shield and get this benefit. Does require a twinment, though. Mm. Now that one helped a little bit. I mean, there's... You want the spell rot tattoo fly? Yes. Let's see what we got here. (laughs) Spell rot tattoo fly. Why is it third level spell rot? Yeah. There are so many fun third level spells. Mm -hmm. Like... Oh, only wants to do it once. Um, you could just get yourself heavily tattooed with a bunch of one-use spells or something, <laughs> if you wanted. Like uh, one of those cloak of many items, but it's tattoos. Yeah, actually, yeah. 
The only other interesting thing here is a wand of wonders and a tentacle rod. So what are both of those? Uh, yeah, what's it's a, wand a wand of wonders and like hinges. Let me see here. Oh yeah, randomly cast a spell. I love this fucking thing. Ooh. All right, uh, this here wand. You see him like take out a small like uh, glove and then put it on before touching the wand. All right, this wand here has uh, seven charges. Uh, while you're holding it, you can use an action to expand one of its charges and choose a target within 120 feet of you. Um, it could be a creature, it could be an object, or it could be a point in space. You roll a d100, and you consult the following table to discover what happens. Um, Excuse me, sir. Yeah. What's a d100? Oh, forget it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Something random will fucking happen, all right? Um, if it causes a spell to come out, um, it's not going to be that very difficult for the thing to be affected by it. Um, and if the spell has a range, um, it'll be 120 feet. Oh, so it auto casts something longer than usual. That's actually kind of neat. If the effect covers an area, uh, you can center the spell on it and uh, include the target. If it has multiple possible subjects, um, some random guy that we don't know who he is figures out uh, who gets it. Um, and then you all can look it over later. Um, this one's going to be 15,000. How much was that spell rot tattoo? It's like a thousand. Cool. One of the temporary tattoo kits? Just like it's that. basically <laughs> one of those temporary tattoos. Um, and then, let me see here, the other thing is a tentacle rod. This one's fucking weird as shit if I remember. Uh, yeah. Made by the drow. Uh, ends in three Burberry tentacles. Each tentacle makes a melee attack with a plus nine. Well, it gets you to do 3d6 bludgeoning damage, basically, because you do three attacks with it whenever you use this. It's actually kind of neat. Uh, if you hit a target with all three tentacles, it must make a DC 15 constitution statement throw on a failure the creature speed is halved, and there's disadvantage on deck saves, and it can't use reactions for one minute. This is actually very fucking cool. Um, gotta admit, this is actually a really cool item. <laughs> it's the only thing in here worth a damn. Everything else is kind of boring. Uh, Does he have a gun? He's got no guns. Well, technically, there's a rod of the Pact Keeper. Um, Do you're a warlock, like, I think you... I know that he have a Pact Weapon. Yeah, I think you have a plus three rod of the Pact Keeper. Um, so, yeah. You know, other things here I think that'd be interesting to uh, such high-caliber clients such as yourselves would be this here typical rod and the Wand of Wonders. Um, they're about 15000 apiece, if you're interested. You'll have to actually cast Identify or whatever on the Wand of Wonder to figure out what the fuck it does. Yeah. Um, and it does cast um, a bunch of really weird spells. Slow, Fairy Fire, Stun, Gust of Wind, Detect Thought, Stinking Cloud. Uh, it makes a random elephant appear. Um, it causes it to rain. Lightning Bolt, 600 oversized butterflies. Um, you enlarge the target and you cast Darkness. Grass grows around you. Um, an object of the DM's choice disappears into the ethereal plane. You shrink yourself, you cast Fireball, you cast Invisibility, leaves grow from a target, a stream of gems appears out of nowhere. Oh, a bur it's a really fucking weird item. I highly recommend it. Someone please take that. Yeah, I mean, come on, you're not exactly fucking poor. It requires attunement. Gems yeah. yeah, it does. You know, I'm not really looking... I will take a random magical item. It doesn't really matter what. But I'm also looking for... Fun trinkets, not necessarily valuable, but cool looking. I have a list for you. Let's see here. Okay, let me see. Uh, trinkets, look at this. Trinkets, first property weak, second property weak, quantity. I'm just going to make 20 of them. He's like, all right, then uh, let me see here. I have some crap under this drawer here. Uh, give me a D20. Fourteen. Let's see what we got here. Um, Smith's pen to symbols. The barricade cat's name. Okay, that's okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. What god is the symbols inscribed with? Oh, right here. One second. Malingering Malingerer showed up. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah, we're back. The Malingerer is here. All right, so we are looking through a wonderful list of items here. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the nimble gloves of the dancer are intriguing your attention. Uh, let me see here. The bear may cast druid craft once per day. The bear may cast blade ward once per day. Um, yeah, it's not supposed to be seen. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh. The last four digits. Ooh, what's silent color with the dash? Where he gains one plus one bonus to dex checks, and the bear knows the general direction to the closest fey crossing within a 16 mile radius. It's, it's very weird. It's seven, six, five. Cool. I have three things I'm looking at so far. Can you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Well, they search through it. Um, does anyone want to go to another store while I look through it? Anybody? Do you sell pickles? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I got every kind under the fucking sun. Fuck yeah. I got cucumber. I got watermelon. Actually, I just got the two. Forget it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, fantastic. I'll take a sample. No pickled onions? Well, yeah, pickled onions, onions too. Actually, just name it. He's got it. Okay. I want pickled onions. It's like, all right then. Um, do you like them sweet, white, red? Red. Red. We got the green onions. Yeah, pickled onion green onions? He just starts assembling a grab bag of yep. salty, <laughs> savory snacks. Do olives count as pickles? Uh, no. Mm. Like, maybe? They are, they're so, they're cured in bro- Wait, but that's pickling. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> are olives pickles? Did I just get red pilled? Oh my god. <laughs> well, technically pickles are just pickled cucumbers, so. That is I, true. Uh, I pick out two little chicken. They are yeah, essentially no, pickles, pretty yeah. Much they are, they're pickled. They are, they're in a brine. They're in a brine. He gives you some good pickles, and they're stuffed with feta. Ooh. Actually, no, they're stuffed with, like, um, um, this Bulgarian cheese I like called Burakas. Fuck yes. Yeah, yeah it's stuffed with Bulgarian cheese. Decadent. All right. Um, All right, uh, I, so which two items did you want there? I pick out a uh, delicate, nice pair of dancer gloves. Um... All right, then. They have nice little embroidery stitched around the cuff. Um, and they're a very pretty color of sort of an off-white cream. All right. And uh, I also pick out this nice fashionable belt that goes well with my cloak. All right. Just go over here and dump these in time time. All right. And you wanted, what was the other item you wanted? Uh, go up. The, um, there we go, the bold belt of the fortune teller. Oh, okay. Nice. I'm just going to say it's max, so you can have, okay. a, you can have your Cheerios, too. All right, it's 2,000 gold. Just mark it off. Uh, cool. Yes? So it says every time you are hit by a monster, you clip a random image of its future past. Yes. So does that mean every monster that we encounter from now on, we get a glimpse of its demise as we fucking commit war crimes? Or well, it's tragic backstory. You stab the guy and you see him donating all of his money to charity and yeah. like helping the old lady cross the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it turns out it turns out he was an organ donor, so killing him was the best thing. <laughs> Save lives by taking lives. All right, uh, he assembles a grab bag of every pickled food item you can imagine. There's even bulgogi in there because technically that's pickled beef. Mm -hmm. And he yes. sticks it all in there, slaps in there, and he says, "Well, since I'm closing up shop, honestly." You can take anything that's pickled in here. I really don't mind. And you name it, it's there. So just start adding pickled stuff to your inventory. Pickled meat. Just pickled stuff. Pickled onions. That's good. That's good. Pickled, pickled olives. The loot name. Pickled stuff. Pickled. Pickled. Even has double pickles where he pickles them twice. How does that work? I don't know, but he did. He somehow figured out how to do it. It's magic. magic. It's, yeah, it's magic. yeah. I don't know Ancient family sure. secrets. It's the same. Yeah. It's like inside an adamantine jar, and it's covered in protected sigils because it's too powerful of a pickle. <laughs> um, does it? Give HP? Does it take HP? Is there a status effect? I will figure it out, all right? I it gives it you a legendary action. It, <laughs> yeah. gives you, it gives you one legendary action if you drink it. No, actually, I'm calling it, but you have to pass a DC 18 con save. Oh. Or you get a tummy ache. Or you know you die. No, you get a really <laughs> bad tummy ache, and it causes you to fall prone then, you and lose around. Fucking drink it in my presence. I literally give you a plus five to saves. Yes. Nice. Chug, chug, chug the magic pickles. <laughs> what is with you people in pickles? All right, then. So, the dragon likes them. So we knocked off the 20,000 gold for the magic item that we bought, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. All right, then. He's going to take all the money, and he's like, well, thanks so much. I can now retire and spend time with my wife. Yeah, yeah. And he just, That's like, nice. politely ushers you out of the store, uh, closes the door, and puts a sign in it that says, close forever, um, and then just leaves. <laughs> I think we did a good thing today. Um, I will allow you to just combine those items into one item that requires attunement. Oh, do both of those require attunement? They do. Alright. I will I allow mind. them to slap on. We can figure it out in post. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, can I get three chicken chalupas and no lettuce? Add lettuce, and extra lettuce. Extra lettuce. Extra lettuce. All right, is there, do we, oh God, do we want to go to the potion guy? Do we want to go to the wizard? The, the, wizard. the scribe, what does the scribe do? I don't know, let's find out. Books. But, oh, no books. Check. It's another Scrolls. dwarf. Oh. Scrolls. Scrolls. You walk into the shop, and there's a thin male dwarf named Hori. Um, as you walk in there, um, you can see, hear rummaging and stuff occurring in the background, and you hear him go, you can't believe it! They just bought the entire store, basically. We can not retire. <laughs> and he's like, well, what do they look like? And he's like, well, actually, hold on a second. There's a bunch of people that just came in. I got to take care of them. And then the dwarf comes back, and he's like, oh, all right, then. Uh, how can I help you all? What do you need? Uh, can I, do you have any porn books? <laughs> yeah, where's your smut? Are you cops? You got to tell me if you're cops. <laughs> We're not cops. All right, then. What are you into? I got drow, I got giants, I got fey, I got celestial, I even got some undead stuff. You're really weird. <laughs> You're most exotic. I'm interested. All right. I got some extra planar stuff from the plane of chaos. It's so abstract. If you can even maintain an erection while looking at this, I'm going to be impressed. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. He pulls out the scroll and he opens it. And, and he, well, he opens it, he actually puts on lead goggles and opens it. I need you all to make wisdom saving throws. Nice. <laughs> That's a fail. Just straight wisdom? That is a pass. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Rex, has you seen, two Rex has seen his fair share. In whatever <laughs> way you can get aroused, get aroused. You understand it. You get it. You're like, oh my god. This is art. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is erotic. You get a little bit of like a nosebleed that goes down. You're like, oh my god. Oh, um, you two just faint. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to okay. buy this. 15? Huh? 15 ain't good enough? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, I have a question. I'm not Am into I here? it, but... No, not yet. Okay. As I was saying, I could have saved it. It's a ten foot aura. Um, as you two pass out, um, the dwarf hands oh the two of Dilbert. Dilbert also <laughs> passes out. <laughs> Dilbert. Porn seller, I am going into battle. <laughs> I need only your Give finest two porn. Crits. <laughs> all right, um, the, the dwarf is like, all right then, hold on a second. Where is it? Okay, here we go. And it's like uh, smelling salt for sexual deviance on the side of the bottle. <laughs> and he goes up, opens it, and uses it under it. You both wake up. How Never much? show me that again. How much? That score right there is 30,000 gold. Don't you dare buy the board score. <laughs> 10,000. Give me I, a persuasion check with disadvantage. I just... Ten thousand dollars for a scroll. I Come I on. look to their character and I'm just like, I'll split it with Guidance. You. I'll split it with Guidance. you right now. Guidance. Alright. You, you two said, you are persuasion? obsessed with it. <laughs> you said have, persuasion? I mean, yeah, with this is. I think I have Oh, ability. but they gave me guidance, so straight roll? No, no guidance. Yeah, D4. Um, but, yeah, wait, so uh roll. you will add hmm? um Right, roll the D4. Add uh you have advantage. Or you have not you have not a uh, disadvantage. Do I just take the first one then? You take the 17, now roll the d20, I mean the d4. d4? Yeah. You could have just clicked the d4 that's up there in guidance and we'll do it for I you. Like that. Well. All right, you got a 19, 19. and the guy kind of looks you over and everything and says, well. $10,000 for a piece of paper. I suppose people do keep passing out every time I open it up and some money's better than no money. All right then, 10,000 gold for it. You have a deal. Wonderful. I'll put it in a special bag for you. And he takes out just a paper bag, and then he slides it in there. Like I'm at a drugstore getting a beer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, enjoy your, um... I can't believe I have to post this. <laughs> What's the DC? It is 20. Nice. Can I buy so just that? out during battle if we need to... <laughs> <laughs> Pornography. <laughs> Behold. Pornography. No, 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 that's exactly how it. No, 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 it's phonography. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, keeping that. I'll figure out how it works. Can I buy that revivify scroll? Yeah. There are a few. Uh, and you said 10,000? All right. This is everything he's got. Um, there's also. What the hell is the scroll revivify? The scroll revivify is 1,000 gold, so go ahead. Cool. And there's also Blade Barrier, is probably the only one that's interesting. Um, and yeah, then the I was scroll thinking of, of also getting that one. That one is 20,000. We definitely need true story. Uh, we definitely need it. Homomorph sounds fun. Because it is. That one is 15. 15 gold? 
15,000. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, dude, what? <laughs> and our spell scrolls, like, we can only use them once. Yes. Um, a wizard can actually read them and learn the spell, which okay. is why I'm making it so fucking expensive. <laughs> well, they could copy them into the spell. I'm not a wizard. Yeah, that's why the so guy is... So that means I can read the Revivify spell and learn it's it. It's a cleric one. Tech- I will give you a, a high DC for it, and if you pass, you can learn some cleric Let ones. me know when you do that. I can, I'll enhance ability. Actually, um, you're a wizard. Um, I allow wizards to pick one school of magic um, that they can learn any spell from. So if you want to do it for, I think, Revivify as Necromancy, then I'll allow you to learn it. So do you want to pick Necromancy? Um, I think I've already picked... Which one did you pick? I have no idea, but it definitely wasn't Necromancy. Uh, we'll figure it out. All right, so do you want the scroll of Revivify? Yes. Okay. That's well, just 1,000 gold. but took that from your total. All right, now let me see. Uh, does anyone want to get the Blade Barrier or the Polymorph? Third? Let me look up Blade Barrier again. Um, now, mind you, with these, you can still cast them at any level you want. Um, you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to ignore the really stupid rules for them where you can't do it if it's not on your... Spell list, because that's stupid. Um, hmm? You can also try to bargain the guy down. Do Does it seem like any of these would interest my patron at all? Mm, not necessarily. Yeah, don't care, then. They're spell scrolls. They're nothing special. Well, but some of them can be fancy looking, you know? Oh, the sc- spell scroll of Eldritch Blast. You can actually learn that, technically. Hmm. Uh, I'll buy that then. All right, that is 500. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard go pew pew. Yeah. Can we just have a, a fucking party of six spellcasters? None of them are warlocks, but they all somehow have an Eldritch Blast. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I was my paladin in Gabe's game as Eldritch Blast. Right. How do we get Eldritch yeah. Blast? Magic well, a, initiative. A paladin mm. knowing warlock spells feels like... Hey kid, you want for magic? I have magic. a, um, I have hey, a paladin who's 11 levels paladin, mm-hmm. 3 levels of warlock. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, both, spell, uh, both of the Raven Queen. So, nice. is there anything else you'd like to buy here? Uh, I want the polymorph spell so badly. How much is the Eldritch Blast spell? 500. 500. Okay. Yeah, common stuff's not too expensive. And you can learn it. Um, there's a weird mechanic that we can do in our downtime before you have to go off to the castle. How much did you say polymorph was? Uh, polymorph would be 15. Um, you're a ranger, right? Yeah. You could technically learn that if I remember. Fuck yes, I'm getting it. <laughs> Alright, 15,000 for the polymorph. I would try to talk him down, but my charisma mod is here. I'm going to treat these not only as spell scrolls, but also, also as manuals of instruction on the spell. So if you How buy much? it, you can learn it. Uh, 15. Come on now, friend. We've already bought... What's well, most likely one of the most expensive and exotic items in your shop? Can't you give us a friendly discount? I could tell you have deep pockets. So if you don't like it, you Me? can just kick the can and get out of my shop. You know, I don't have to sell it to you. $2,000 is already well more than you need for a decade of work. How much? Um, I'm starting to think that maybe the random strangers that my brother is making mention of in the back of the shop that spent a king's ransom in their store were you lot. So that sounds accurate. So maybe I should hold my ground here and get my money's worth, because I'd also like to retire. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Go ahead and roll deception, then. Maybe that was all we had. <laughs> yeah. Well, it deception. wasn't all he had. You we're all out of money, as a lot of you are like, <laughs> counting up your... Oh, do any it's not good. Why do I roll so badly when I have such high stats? You got to believe in yourself. I right, listen here. I know you're full of shit. I can see the bulges in your pants. And Lord oh, knows I know it's gold. Kind of <laughs> we know that's a lie, too. The price is what it is. I tried. Yeah. I mean, you still have 145,000 gold. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know what you're bitching about. <laughs> For the sport of it. That's true. All right, is there anything else you'd like here? I wasn't too I have interested a question in for all of y'all. Do y'all remember to add the 18k? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, so that means you still have 188,000, so add an extra 8,000 to your total. Okay. Everyone? Yeah, just add an extra 8,000 to your total. Mm-hmm. All, right. all right, then. Well, I think I can also retire now. So if you don't mind, I'm going to be closing up shop, and I'm going to go spend time with my wife. <laughs> Is this going to be the running cheese? Keep shooting up. It's like, why did every store on Main Street go out? <laughs> we just 
ruined an economy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so did someone buy the blade barrier? Um, I did. Let me see what it does. Or no, I bought, uh, I wanted to. How much would that be? Uh, that one would be 20. Thousand? Yep. Uh, sure. Oh, it's a cleric only spell, and it's evocation. You create a vertical wall of whirling razor sharp blades made of magical energy. I will allow you to learn that spell. Cool. For the price point. Um, if you pay up the ask for it, I will allow it to happen. All right. Now, of course, it's a six level spell, so you're not going to be using it for a while. So think about that, too. Well, I'll take it. All right. Just stash it in your loop. Boot over there, sitting, arms ready. You know, I may not be able to do it right now, but a couple more levels, <laughs> just you in a, few, in a few months. I, I, I got you as soon as I got those six level spell slots. All right, so is there any other place that you want to go before we head off? There's the alchemist, the weaponsmith, the armorer, and the one, and one right was, was born. Um, I'll roll him again just to see if he does something even more interesting this time. Let's find out. Shakira is a willy male halfling named Chani. He was cursed by an item and cannot see or hear elves. That is amazing. Is anyone here an elf? Oh, aren't you an elf? Yeah. You can't, you're just not going to know you're there. What uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. He's thought of this. Uh, a plus three wand of the war mage. That's for wizards. Um, does it, it require attunement? It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Fuck. Looking around. Are you capped? Yeah. What'd you get? I got barrier tattoo, museum apparatus, and the thing that gave me. Well, you're holding a wand, you get a plus three bonus to spell attack rolls. In addition, you ignore half cover when making a spell attack. It's basically, it's it's okay. I mean, if you want damage, you, you could you want the museum apparatus, just and then the if you want the utility, so you can do the museum apparatus. Because museum apparatus, what it does is it gives you utility by being able to cast shit and fill And then pass the phone yeah. so we can. Would a half elf be like transparent? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Hey Jack, can you do me a favor and just and find the chicken version of a chalupa and get me three of them without lettuce? Because I gotta run the game, and you'll be compensated. And chicken. you're ordering two, and then we can. Wait, a chicken version of what? A chalupa. One of three chicken chalupas. Wow, this guy actually has a lot of good shit. Um, one of the war mages is okay. Um, oh god, a wand of fireballs. Fuck me. It I saw that. It um, constantly, just... it constantly casts fireball. Chulupa All the time. Chulupa. Chulupa <laughs> supreme with chicken. Constant stream of fireball. <laughs> yeah. Is that the only chicken? No. Mean... You change it yourself. Oh, okay. We'll pick chicken then and get rid of the lettuce. And I want three of them. Uh, does it require attunement? Yeah. Fuck. That is the most broken item ever. I used it in another campaign to blow up an entire starship full of fucking mind flayers in one hit. How much is it? You just twenty thousand. I'll take it. Here, I'm look. Let me show you how down. it works. Not gonna try to bug him down. What? You hear? Okay, as you walk into the shop, <laughs> uh, you hear him in the back going, <laughs> "What do you mean you retired too? <laughs> we are what do you the. Mean weird we people? are the party equivalent of Mansa Musa right now. Yeah, like, you are. are. You're literally just, literally just, just running into town, just breaking say. economies. We're gonna have to start tying these people up. They're gonna tell right. everyone. Here's the downside. So what happens is it regains one d six plus one expended charges daily at dawn. If you expend the wand's last charge, roll a d twenty on a one. The wand crumbles into ashes and destroyed. Here's the secret: never expend the last charge. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, now the spell save DC is fifteen, which is a problem. If you want to have the artificer dick around with it, you can raise it up. But basically, it's it's basically as many fireballs as you want. It. Also, here's a secret. Artificers have this very nifty ability where they can burn their own spell slots to give charges to an idol. Which I'm not an artificer. We have huh? an artificer. No, we do. You have an artificer. Yeah, no, I'm just not here today. All right. Wait, wait, do you want the combo or just straight? Just chalupas? three chicken chalupas. Where's the amulet showing up? And no lettuce. And no lettuce. Um, I will go into a blood curdling rage if there is lettuce on it. <laughs> Extra lettuce. Extra lettuce. A pound of lettuce. Well, I, no, I sort of need him to at least. I, hold on, I, I get just. Yeah. I, there's another wand of wonder. Um, there's a wand of light. Oh my god, does that do the same thing but it's lightning bolts? I will allow you yes. to dual wield these if you want. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Can. Yep. Wait, these require two minutes? Yes. 
I know the answer to this question is going to be no, but what? I do have to try. You want to give it to Dilbert? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can Dilbert attune, probably not wands, but can Dilbert attune to items? Mm, you know what? Well, yeah. it also has to be by a spellcaster, so is he a spellcaster? He does not have spells. He does He's not, not a Yeah, it doesn't so, count. Yet. Can you give him spells? That's going to be Dilbert's downtime activity. He's, he's just at studying. Dilbert, level Dilbert, so he's just in front of a book, just like staring at it. Just three, no drink, just three no nothing, nothing, nothing. Just three chalupas. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, wand of enemy detection. That sounds useful. Also, a little bit of these wands would be interesting. Take them all while we distract him. Huh. You can use an action and expend one charge to speak its command word. You know the direction of the nearest creature hostile to you. It can sense the presence of invisible, ethereal, disguise, or hidden creatures. Um, yeah, it's really weird. That seems useful for the Illuminati. Now, of course, as you come in, as you walk into the store, um, a large electronic um, voice comes out and goes, Elf detected, elf uh, detected. Yeah, come on, he's not done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's like, hey, you have to tell me if you're an elf. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I know you're in here. He doesn't have, like, security so or something that could just thing. easily see it. I just tell him, you're not able to heal me, even if I respond to you. Did you put your order in? Yeah. So it's just the box. Chill the box. All right. So His security so guard just, like, steps out of the corner and goes, don't try anything. Oh. All right? <laughs> he pays me minimum wage to sit here and just look out for elves. This is a good scam. It's not ruining it. But making me do work, okay? Who is the security <laughs> guard? Um... An orc. What kind of orc? An orc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Describe the orc. <laughs> he's like seven feet tall, mm -hmm. huge rippled muscles. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a tattoo on his left shoulder that says moms, mm -hmm. in plural, mm -hmm. which makes you go, but why? <laughs> <laughs> he really <laughs> likes his moms. He has two moms. Yeah, he has two oh, moms. Oh, I assumed he was he, a milk he, hunter. Yeah, he's got two moms. He yeah. likes his moms. Yeah, he likes his moms. Well, yeah, he's a milk hunter, too. Yeah. He has two moms, and he's a milk hunter. That's yeah. the name of my car. Uh, I rolled <laughs> <definitely. laughs> Yeah. Do you also want to buy the wand of lightning bolts? Is it also twenty thousand? I'll let you dual wield them. I can't attune to both of them. I will let them count as one item if you buy both. Yes. Combine them. Wand of fire and lightning. Combine. See, it's so much more interesting if you just do away with the tournaments. Dude, shut the fuck up. No, it's not happening. Stop trying to make non attunement happen. It's not going to happen <laughs> on a magic gun that gives you infinite fireballs. No. <laughs> All right? Now, the DC is fixed until the artificer gets to get their hands on it. Their grubby little hands on it. All right. Um, is there anything else? It'd be 40,000 gold down. Um, as soon as you hand it over, the guy just looks at you and uh, this guy says, All right. I'm going to retire now. Thank you so much. Um, Elf, if you're in here, steal. I don't care. I'm retiring. <laughs> I'll take it. Do it. <laughs> Go ahead. Take all of you them. Steal, you steal everything else. I don't fucking care. Yeah. Um, I am going to take everything, and I am going to give it to my patron. Perfect. Fucking, you have a wizard <laughs> on your team. Yes. I also have a patron. That Who doesn't need it. But wants it. I just meant the stuff that people bought, like the wand of... Uh, Lightning bolts and fireballs is yeah. not there, but everything else is there. You can sort through it and add it to your list a little bit later. Yes. It's the wand of Wait, secrets. Wait, who's your patron? You'll find out. <laughs> Someone who's not cringe. What's a, <laughs> what's a wand of Hitachi? What is that? What? <laughs> um, legendary <laughs> idol? Legendary idol? Does it require store. attunement? <laughs> yeah. From the store we got the book at. It's only um, 10 gold. What a steal. Um, it's plus 10 to uh, persuasion. What? what? What are you doing? That was just his, in the background. I was floating with the orc. I wanted to see how well I did. That's a nat 20. He's in. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Be not that kind of orc. <laughs> I'm including him for my next heist. All right, then. What do you want to do with this orc? Uh, Hired hand. Literally. Are you hitting on him, or are you trying to recruit him? To Why not both? both. <laughs> He's like, all right. So what do you want to go tonight? You know, since the shop is abandoned now, maybe is, we can... Is there, a, is there a magic equivalent of a phone number that I can get from this guy? This guy is sending some. Yeah, I was yeah, about to say, I, like, I imagine they're sending some. His Rocky and... Talkie. So go ahead and oh, get his some number. <laughs> I love oh, it. I do. Um, it basically, if you translate all of the, if you associate the numbers with letters, it translates to Milk Hunter. So just Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. 
<laughs> Wait, does he give me a sending stone? Because I didn't have one before. Um, you all have sending stones. Just, oh, fuck you. you have, and they don't require it. It's just M L F H U T R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Or H N T R. Um, and you can send crude little messages with it, and he's like, "Call me." And then he, he, I don't know. Then he steals like a random bottle off the shelf and then walks out. Fuck okay. yeah. Um, and then he gets a severage package from the elf who get, gives him five grand. He's like, here you go, man. What a cool guy. <laughs> Wait, is the store owner who can't see elves also an elf? Huh? So no, he's he a halfling. Not... Oh, okay. You said elf. It'd be really so, like, funny if he couldn't see himself. Yeah, can he not hear <laughs> He's Clayton Bigsby. Yeah, he's a willily male halfling named Channy. All right, um, you have spent, um, it's about three o'clock now. What do we want to do before we go up to the chief palace? <clears throat> I'm going to go work out. All right. <laughs> Just to start bench pressing rocks or something. Do you want to bench is, press? Is, is there an equivalent of a gym in this setting? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. The Carnegie okay, are known for loving to exercise. Well, so. then there you go. Uh, I will... What would be an egregious name for a gymnasium in a country that uses undead soldiers? Mm. The boneyard. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. The body shop. Yeah, the oh, the body! There shot. it is. There it is. Inspo. Take your inspo. I was like, good. man, that is an the inspiration. The body moment. shop was good. Yeah. That's great. All right, so it. you go to the body shop. Give yeah, me uh, an athletics check with advantage. All right, now give Wait, me an what? athletics check with advantage. Oh, okay, got it. All right, now wizard, do you want to examine? Uh, did you buy the wand of wonders? Anyone buy the wand of wonders? Yeah, I, I got yeah. all of the wands. I stole them. <laughs> uh, actually, I think a wand of wonders was at the end. Yep, you got one for free. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> A wizard fan. Oh. <laughs> I just hold them all out. I fan them like a fan. If anybody wants one, now is your last chance. Uh, I'm going to take the wand of... Five. No. Four. <laughs> magic detection and wonder. Oh, Wait, go ahead. You could literally just go black with dual magic missiles. There's two of them. I'm also going to take a wand of magic missiles. Yeah. Okay. Right. I have so many fucking wands now. <laughs> well, the DM mentioned the Wad of Wonder, so I'll I'll grab that one too, even though I don't know what it is. I did. It's, it's, it's a bullshit wand. It's fun. I can't okay. wait to turn someone into an elephant. Actually, it doesn't turn him; it just spawns an elephant, <laughs> or a rhino, or a goat. Okay. Uh, Slato. Yes. Whatever wands you take, send me a message because whatever nobody takes, I'm okay. giving away. No, okay. Either to the Tontai or to my patron. Hand it off to your patron. I took That's magic detection, magic missile, and wonder. All right, do me a favor here, mm -hmm. and um, oh, did you do the athletic check? Yeah, I did. Yeah, let me double check here. Let's see what we have here. All right, you get your pump on uh, Wait, for the next fish. day. You said with advantage. What? You said with advantage, crit fish. Yeah. Oh me. All right. Yeah. Do the plus sign. Does the boneyard have like an? Oh, yeah. Hang the boat, the body shop. The yeah, there's an archery range, range, so go ahead. If anyone wants to train, go ahead. Um, yeah. You get um, you get advantage on your athletics checks for the rest of the day. You got your pump on. Dope. Hell yeah. All right. um, and the wizard is frantically trying to handle all the items they have. <laughs> Five wands. <laughs> You're like a cat with, like, this guy like trenching cat and you're just, like, rolling around. Like. <laughs> Only the one. The one of magic detection and one of magic missiles don't require attunement. They don't? They don't. Well, shit, go ahead. I'm taking the other one of magic missiles. Fuck yes. <laughs> Good. Make, make a note of whatever you take. Yeah. Yeah. Look, what you need is a gunslinger. Uh, the gunslinger uh, holster. <laughs> You reach for the next wand, whatever number it is, and I pull it away. Or just like a bandolier of wands. Yeah. What are you going to give me in exchange? So who's I at will the give gym? you... Um, you got uh, Carnathy soldiers doing their training, Wait, a bunch of... Uh, hey. Muse? Hey, Jack. Not what I'm talking. So you have a bunch of Carnathy soldiers getting their pump in, some uh, commoners uh, lifting heavy objects and putting them back down. Okay. Um, it seems to be overwhelmingly human with a smattering of dwarves and the occasional elf. Okay. What's the vibe of the gym? Like, as I'm doing my thing, like, what's everybody, like, does anybody react? Is anybody, like, visibly noticing that I stand out like a sore thumb or anything? They, um, they're, the Carnathy use undead troopers and uh -huh. like to use alchemical modifications and stuff. So okay. actually, oddly enough, they don't think that you're that weird. Okay. Um, they just think that you're, you know, a veteran of a war or something trying okay. to get their pump pump. All right. Um, and one guy actually, uh, one of the elves looks at you and gives you like a nod when you get your grind on. He's like, come, 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 come. It's like, oh man, what's your set, man? What are you doing? What's your max? Damn, dude, nice car. 
Like, <laughs> we're not even in the shower. So <laughs> yeah, really. That. All right, so um, anything anyone else wants to do before we skulk off? Um, yes. What are you going to give you, Newton? A secret. Ooh. I'm listening. Okay, I'm going to DM this. You already, oh, okay. everybody already knows this, but yeah. uh, technically because we had to retcon it. Yes. All right, if someone wants to do me a favor and use the Wand of Wonders, we can bring Cajon into the situation. And I will also allow oh, yeah. it to do whatever random effect it'll do, and I'll pull it up here so you don't have to do anything. All right. Let's do this in the middle of the gym. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not yes. at the gym. But actually, uh, Rex, do you want to access, like, say, for example, the wand? Because there was one in the shop that you left. See, it fell yeah. into your backpack, and you grabbed it by accident instead? Yeah. Okay. Let's just say, like... I'm just in my, my PT bag, and I'm just doing chalk and all my other stuff, and I reach for what I think is a toothpick, and I start picking at my teeth with it, and then all of a sudden, like, just Wand of Wonder things happen. All right, give me a D100. Okay. Let's see what you roll in here. I believe it's this. I believe I can There you go. Four. Let's see what we got here. Five you five. cast Detect Thoughts on a target you choose. Who do you, I guess, on yourself. So you hear yourself hearing your own thoughts. Hello, me. It's me again. <laughs> Actually, you get a splitting headache. <laughs> and the headache keeps growing and growing and growing. Oh. Until eventually you fall over. And in front of you is Cohen, who I think you only met like once, technically. Yeah, I, think. I think so, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You're just standing there, Cohen. Make sure to get close. It does, All right. Does what you see... Is Colin just like looking side to side? Uh, hey, I know you. I think I'm hallucinating again. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm quite I need sure a di- I need a Where different pre workout. <laughs> I'm at the gym, and we're going to meet a king sometime soon. So, this is just me doing my daily routine before we go do social activities. Getting sweaty uh. before you put on your meat suit. Wait, what? <laughs> Getting sweaty before you put on your meat suit. It makes it easier for me to put it on, okay? <laughs> gotta lubricate uh, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I have to put it myself. I gotta oil up first. <laughs> yeah, so you're just gonna see Cohen scratch his chin and go, <clears throat> Well, since we are ready, might as well join. He's not gonna question the fact that you just got summoned out of fuck call nowhere. <laughs> so what, you're just gonna like randomly start working out too? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll let's start randomly working out too. So start doing squats. Wait one second, let me pull up. What is your, what's your character's strength? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's that Not high. super high. Okay. I will roll for you, unless someone else wants to. Wait, roll did for it not go through? I just touched it. I'm gonna give. <clears throat> hey Jude, do you mind yeah. uh, taking care of it? I think I think Slater should have already action. Actually, Actually, let's yeah. give it to Slater since Slater's Okay. Well, no, I think Slater already has my character sheet. Do I? Yeah, from last time. Uh, I have oh, Rex. Uh, wait. So oh. who's, who's I gave Rex everyone. I gave everyone permissions for it, so just roll okay. it on there, and you don't have to use your phone. Wait, but my question is, I'm touching it. Why isn't it rolling? I don't know because it's on mobile. So let's just do. Oh it wait, no. Am I supposed to click this? What are you rolling for? It's athletics. Okay, just I got it. Athletics. You got it. 16, you get your pump on. Um, you now have an advantage on athletics for the rest of the day. Yeah. Got that adrenaline flowing through your veins. All right. So I imagine we are all going to reconvene after our loot drops, and then we are going to go up to the king's castle. Yeah. All right. It's 6 o'clock. Uh, why don't we all describe our last-minute preparations? God help me when we get to Rex's turn. Or we'll do Rex last. <laughs> okay. Um, Savio, how are you getting ready to meet the king? King, the king, uh, Caius Irwernon the third. Okay. Um, I, uh, I take like a little uh, uh, brush, like a shoe shining brush, and just like go over Dilbert's scales and horns, <laughs> make sure he's it's all nice and sparkly. I love it. And then I do the same thing to my horns. He does. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, make sure there's no blood. I press to digitate any weird blood off myself. A sword. Wait, no, I don't have press to digitate. Never mind. <laughs> You go through like a car wash. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Muse, how do you get ready? 
Milf Hunter and I had a wonderful time at the spa. Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) And I show up like 15 minutes late, but I look wonderful. I had the full body massage, the hair treatment. At the brolish bath. Um, Go ahead and give me another charisma check with advantage. Sure. Oh, with advantage? Yep. A check, not a save. Yep. What? (laughs) Wow. You have advantage on all of your charisma checks. For the rest of the day. Fuck yeah. All right. In, in game day or? In game day. Okay. Yes. All right. Boot, how are you getting ready? Polishing your wands? <laughs> <laughs> Boot is going to go out, and Boot is going to buy themselves. Can I roll a D2? Yeah. See if you get a tux or not. Yeah. I get a dress. Get a dress? Okay. A dress, but I get a really nice uh, cloak to put over that dress. Okay, so, uh, fuck. All right, here, I'm going to find out what you're wearing really quick while we do this. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I got to fucking go to Han? All right, ignore me. Rex, please describe... The horrifying thing you do <laughs> with that fistura that you bought. I've been waiting for this. Oh, here it goes. Cause it's insane. So, after my workout. So you want something base like this? Fuck yeah. That's okay, okay, that's exactly what you want. You even have the trail, and do you hire some halflings to hold it for you so it doesn't get dirty? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's like a gold a day for them, so you just hire them. So you have like three halflings. <laughs> for right. the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. For the rest of the evening. I'm gonna while I'm doing while uh, while they're helping me out. I'm gonna I'm gonna make friends with them. Okay, right, we'll get to the all right. Rex, please describe your viscera suit. Okay, so after the the workout and the post workout pump, he goes to the sauna, all nice and sweaty. Um, he also takes that time to um, craft. I'm not really sure what to call it, so <laughs> I guess. Because I, I wouldn't say, uh, like a kilt. Think okay. of just like a meat kilt. And oh the bag that's, the, the belt that's just kind of like this holding one? it up. Mm-hmm. Pardon? Oh, no, that's not the belt. This horn is a little pack that's on the, yeah. the kilt. Well, I mean, it would be akin to a kilt. That it's like, there's a belt, there's a... You made the horn out of the bear hide. Yeah, there you go. The sporn can be a stomach. That's yeah. what I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Like, he spends his time, like, crafting this, like, very meticulously. Like, it's not sloppy at all. all right, I mean, other than literally give me being some sloppy. survival checks with advantage. Okay. Lady Gaga's meat dress. That's, no, that's literally what I was yeah, looking no, up I, for inspiration. I was like, <laughs> I, I was immediately went and because I knew at exactly it. what the fuck he was doing. Yeah. Like, I saw her meat dress, and I was like, this, but <gasps> let's try to change it up. Goals. Um, you said survival with advantage. So we're gonna do this. All right, 23. It's fantastic. It actually looks so good. It looks like some kind of just strange. Um, like, if anything, he looks like some sort of war chieftain. Okay. Like, he's definitely presenting himself, like, in a regal fashion. All right. Like, in any formal fashion. All right, good, 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 good. All right, Cajon, how are you gonna get ready? I am <clears throat> gonna take a fucking shower. After working a little sweat. <laughs> Smart. Um, and then I'm going to ask around, because, like, I don't know where the fuck I am. It's like, they told you where, where to go. No, no, I mean, like, what oh. type of person is the king? What type of what mm. type of people does the king like? Like, who are you going to ask? I'm doing actual research. Huh? I'm a, like how no one thought of this. <laughs> like, um, like, yeah, I'm, whatever. We'll who, go is, who is this guy? It's <laughs> a weird, creepy castle. Here, let me actually open yeah, up the creepy I'm going to actually ask. Literally fucking anyone who looks like they know what they're doing. All right, give me While I'm switch. working out, I'm asking the people who look like veterans. All right. While I'm showering, I'm asking the people who are showering next to All me. All right, give me three persuasion checks. You just talking to some to. random dude in the shower, and he's just like, I'm just trying to fucking shower, dude. Like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you? Yeah, why are you talking wow, about this? <laughs> You determine that the king is extremely reclusive, and you can't get any good information out of him. Mm-hmm. All right. What if I ask about the king's race? What, the, what type of race is the, does the king like to interact with? Uh, he's a human being, and he interacts with humans, elves, dwarves. But nobody knows because they never see him outside. He hasn't been seen in public in nine months. All right. Oh, wow. Is this a country that would discriminate against the satyr? Huh? No, not really. All right, well, I'm going to alter self into a human anyways. Okay, good. All right. Um, 
Let us go up to the fun. Um, can everyone see the map? Yeah, yeah. why is there a dude there? <laughs> what the? The dude. He's the just, mummy. He's, he's, hanging out. he's just having dinner. I mean, just... He's just vibing. Can't the mummy well, just I'm gonna have a dinner in peace? Don't fucking go around in circles doing stupid shit. Mm. All right. Let me see here. <clears throat> you arrive inside Crown Home, the chief castle of Korth. Um, you are having dinner with the king and some of his retainers. The king rises. Um, he's a stately human man wearing bright red crimson dyed plate armor. Um, he rises and says, We will now begin with the chant for Karnath. Karnath, born in war. Karnath, land of night. Karnath, we salute you. Let the world marvel at our might. Everyone just goes here, here, so it's pounding on the table and everything. Um, good, 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 good. He, you see the king look at you and commend your, your nationalism. He's like, God, God, God. <laughs> <laughs> now, welcome, welcome. I am known as Caius Irwirnon III. I am the king of Karnath. You see before you the great regent Morana, Venom, Vedum, I hate his name, it's V-E-D-I-M, Vedum, mm -hmm. Vedum, the minister of the <laughs> dead, and then Malavanor, our esteemed guest, who is the high priest of the Crimson Monastery, the chief leader of the blood of Vo. He is here as a courtesy. You see the mummy kind of grimace a little bit? Um, you, can, you don't even have to roll inside for this, you can tell they don't like each other. And mm -hmm. the guy is really only here because of a political formality. Yeah. I congratulate you on your victory. Is this it's, the same guy that we saw on the train? Huh? Is this the same guy that we saw on the train? Full perception. <laughs> because I because I think I was the only one who went and looked into the keyhole, but yeah, no, that's not great. You do it with advantage. Sweet. Actually, uh, mm, you history on this to recollect. Okay. And you can do so with advantage. Oh, oh Jesus. Advantage. Yeah. I'm rolling like garbage today. <laughs> He looks faintly familiar, but then you wonder if you're simply embodying mummy stereotypes and that they all look the same. <laughs> but you get the feeling that there's something about him that's oddly familiar, but you probably have to probe a bit further. Mm -hmm. Let me just see here, one minute. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your victory. Now please eat as much as you'd like, and then you are welcome to take a tour of the grounds. And then, uh, Undead servants come out. They're just skeletons wearing fancy robes and like powdered wigs, and they plop down, you know, roast pheasant and stuffed partridges and asparagus and all kinds of tasty stuff. And a lot of you dig in, and you see that, of course, the mummy is eating nothing. Um, he kind of just sits there, puts his hands across his lap, and kind of just seems to patiently be humming to himself as he waits for something to I'm happen. Insight check the food first before I. Eat okay, anything. sure. Go ahead. Same here, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then, uh, can I survive this if it's You can't insight check the food. You'd have to do a perception check mm. or arcana or something. Mm. Which arcana would work for you? So okay, I'll do, do perception. Arcana. Yeah, sure, go ahead. What? Ooh! Again? <laughs> what is with this? You know, it was about to happen. Right. Somebody else got Oh, perception is better. 18? Okay. The food is not poisonous. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, if anyone looks like hesitant to eat the food, I just... You're like lifting the plate up and <laughs> you flip it over and it just plops on the <laughs> ground. The king is looking at you going, Why would I invite you here and then poison you? If I wanted to kill you, I would do it face to face. And you tell that he means that. <laughs> I have allergies. Um, I'm just making sure that they're... Oh, is it the gluten? It's on uh, nuts. Really bad nut allergy. Hmm. And shellfish. And shellfish. And bananas. <laughs> Not bananas. Well, that is a nut shellfish casserole. So perhaps we should get uh, <laughs> you another dish. He claps his hand and out comes whatever Boots' favorite, Boots favorite food is. What is Boots' pockets. favorite food? Is it food? Um, fried alligator. Fried alligator? Mm -hmm. Nice. Ah, an excellent choice. We will fetch an alligator from the alligator pits, which we customarily keep, because alligators are delicious. <laughs> um, now, is there anything um, 
you see the king is discussing with the party and everything up there near them, and then the king and the three of them actually come down near you all to check in and see how everything's doing. How is the food? You like the hospitality. I'm glad your friend has not died. That would be unfortunate. Although I believe our friend over here could fix that fairly quickly. Delicious. It's fantastic. It's excellent, thank you. Is something wrong with the food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Um, I'm just trying to, out of character, Muse is trying to stay very low profile, if oh, possible. Okay. This is the exact opposite of low profile. <laughs> now, um, you are right in their faces. You are welcome to roll perception to get information on Caius Irwernon, Regent Marana, and Venom the Minister of the Dead. Ooh, what? There you go. The <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you get fucked. You know, I will as well, although I feel like I don't have to at this point. Yeah. You got it when it yeah. mattered most. Now, um, Which one is the, the, mummy, the mummy? He's on the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. He's the mummy, see? The what, far left one. What's, it, what's his name? Oh, it is Malavenor. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Noise. All right. They have a weird birthmark. I, that I will tell you. Recognize. Now, Boot, you could pick one to get the net 20 on. Who do you want? The uh, king, the regent, or the minister of the dead? The king. The king? Okay, let me just open this up. Duh, king. Caius Irwirnon III is a rather young-looking, 20-ish young man. His skin is strangely pale. He has this kind of weariness about his, uh, about his presence. And you can see that there's kind of timelessness quality to him. Um, you can't see that his outfit uh, seems to have no semblance of wear and tear, especially from something like the sun. Like, you think his hair would get sun bleached or something from being outside all day and going around and everything. But it's fine. It's like he hasn't seen sunlight in a long time. A long time. All right, now, Savio, you want to insight the mummy? Okay, the mummy is Malavenor. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually a really weirdly specific stat block. I have to look up for this, so give me one fucking second. Would I be able to tell if the king had been revived recently? Uh, that one you'd have to do magic on. Um, with your perception check, you can tell that something about him is off, but you can't put your finger on it. Can I do Arcana then? Can you do a perception for me real quick? Yeah. I want to be clear, mine was perception, not insight. Yeah, don't worry about it. Everyone ignore all the lore that is going to be in the stat block that I have to look up. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even here. looking to one. Uh, Could I do Arcana to see if... Um, he, I'm going to be real with you, he is under like 16,000 wards. If you want to actually get more info, you have to like dispel magic on him or use identify. You have to physically touch his hand and then keep him interested for a minute while you cast identify in order to figure something out. Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Malavenor. Okay, before you stands a mummy wrapped in the funerary wrappings underneath the blood robes of a priest. Okay. Malvinor is the high priest in the Crimson Monastery. He's Karnath's largest blood of old temple. Um, you can see that there's like scrolls and other materials latched around his body and what have you, trying to give him the semblance of being important and, and learned and what have you. Um, but you can tell that all of the texts are relatively cursory. You know, it's like something that like a second year in magical college would look at. Like not someone is working on their the senior thesis, but some guy who's still trying to figure out what their major is. <laughs> So you get the feeling that, you know, he packs a punch, but he's not as esteemed as he likes to carry on. Was there anything in particular you wanted to glean from him? Um, hmm. I mean, there would be no way for me to tell if this was the guy on the train, because I don't think I saw you him. You didn't right see him. Only Boot saw him. Mm -hmm. Um, you could connoiter with boot letter later and give a precise beat for beat breakdown or anything, mm -hmm. and then give that would get advantage on the roll to double check. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. just keep that under your bonnet. Okay. Who is it that's sitting right across from me? That is the Regent um, Morana. Oh. Can I tell anything about them? Yeah, go ahead. Roll for some. Okay. Uh, you rolled a 15. Go ahead and just do it again. Um, okay. So I rolled 2d8. I wanted to give 2d8s worth of coins to like, just somebody. Like one of the, just 
gold coins to somebody who would take it before he starts eating. He's not going to eat just because it's offered to him. Okay. Uh, you bribe one of the skeletal guards, and it just goes right through his bony hands and his clangs on the floor. <laughs> and the king looks at you and goes, Donations are not necessary, but we appreciate the generosity. He snaps his finger, and the skeleton just goes, One, two... Three. And so it's putting them in a little tiny side pocket in his tattered robes. Um, you look at the regent. Um, she looks like she does. She's a very tall, relatively old woman, maybe 55, 60, 65 in that range, but you can't tell. Um, you can't tell that she's using magic in some way to make herself look more gaunt and pale. To um, more, gaunt and pale? more gaunt and pale. And her hair is silvery wisps of, of gray and what have you. And she seems to be relatively disinterested in the activities and keeps glancing around behind her towards Malavindor, the mummy. Mm. Hmm. What about the dude diagonal from there? Venom? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and you can roll for him too. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> no, she I just got everyone figure out everything! Like, right, give me a history check with advantage. Okay. Ooh, I'm not good at yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this guy is called Vedum. Uh, he has like one very specific surname that I cannot fucking remember. Um, he's the Minister of the Dead. Um, what the Karnath do is they have a chief position who's in charge of maintaining their undead armies. That is this guy. Mm. Whenever you die in Karnath, they take your corpse and they turn you into a soldier for the army. You're required to hand over your corpse unless you have a previous deal or some other arrangement with the state. You can opt out of it by paying an exorbitant fee. Fun. So usually the army is composed of poor people who die and can't afford to be allowed. Um, you can see that he has a kind of ledger on his person and it's tucked out, and you can't really make out anything um, on it aside from some numbers and figures. It's tilted to the side, so the paper's like this and it's like this. Mm -hmm. You can only make out the figures on one side, and it's like 20,000, 22,000, 24,000, 26,000, 30,000, 26, and then it says 1,000 on it. Okay. And that's all you can make out off of it. Um, you can tell also that he's relatively indifferent. Um, the only person here who actually looks like they're actually sort of enjoying themselves is Caius Uwernon III, the king himself. Mm -hmm. Everyone else seems to be here because the king told them to be here. Got it. And uh, the place that he's from, is it kind of? Yeah. That's not the elf place. That's no, that'd the, that's be the valid, that would be Arenal. This yeah. is the totalitarian place. Yeah, this right? is the totalitarian. Okay. You're in it right now. You're in Karnak. Right, yes. Okay. Um... He doesn't seem that interested in anything, not preoccupied, just sort of sitting here. You can see him kind of looking and mumbling to himself. Um, you can kind of tell that he seems to be counting and going over figures in his head and occasionally mouthing something off silently to himself. Mm -hmm. Keeping low key, but I am going to try to make eyes at him, see if he's interested. Oh my god. Do so with advantage. You gave me, you gave me a charisma with advantage. What am I supposed to do with it other than fly? He's muttering to himself in the figures and glances over in your direction as you start making googie eyes and he looks at you and kind of grimaces a little bit. And then he leans over to the king, whispers something in his ear, and then makes his leap. Can I roll perception again on the mummy? Yeah, sure. What do you want to figure out? Um, just whatever I can about him. Okay, uh, if you want to probe something deeper about like body language and stuff, it'd have to be insight. Okay. If you wanted to see what's on him, then it would be perception. Ooh, he's an inscrutable haze. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want, to, I want to excitedly greet the king uh, and uh, offer him a handshake. He takes your hand and is like, Hello, friend. You, um, your grip is very strong. I like that in a man. <laughs> yes, I uh, enjoy working out in my spare time as well. How do you know these other fighters who competed in the tournament? I do not recall seeing you there. Uh, I've worked with them before. Though, to be quite frank, I don't know how I got here either. Hmm. You don't seem to be weary from travel. It's difficult to get to the northern reaches. Uh, now tell me, what do you and your friends do together exactly? Uh, Cajon's just going to stare off into space and have flashbacks about, uh, Doing fuck all in, um, I forget what the city is called. Did you tell him that you came from the northern reaches? It's just it takes a long time to get up north, and you're very yeah. far north right now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, he's just assuming you were somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, after staring off for a moment, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look back at him and say, 
adventure and exploring and something like that. Kahalan himself looks very confused as to what he's actually supposed to do for the time time. Aside get, from the fact that he's not supposed to mention the time time. All right. I get the feeling that you're not the one in charge of how things happen. We're oh, in the business of acquisitions. Not. Ah, excellent. Um, what have you acquired recently? Knowledge. Hmm. Anything interesting you care to share? We spent the day in between hours um, exploring wonderful shops within the city. Look at what we found when I hold out the Phantom Wands. <laughs> Wait a minute. I caught whispers that some of the stores on Main Street <laughs> shut down. Was that you? <laughs> we may have gotten a bit carried away. Uh, well, I suppose they've been working there for a long time. We can simply rent out the buildings to someone else. That's fine. The food is here, by the way. Huh? The food is here, by the way. Oh, well, let's go oh. split it up then. We'll take a brief break to eat. All right, we have now finished imbibing. Um, you are in front of the king. Everything else is set up. We're running good. Let us open up here. Now, does anything else anyone wants to do before the king um, that takes you to the quarters for the evening? Um, anything else we want to ask? Anything else we want to do? I want to look at the party and just like quietly ask, so uh, why were we admitting this king in the first place? Who are you asking? Just fucking whoever's sitting next to you. So, Boot. No, Muse. Me? M Muse is the no, one sitting right next no, it's me. Oh, yeah, it's Boo. Um, out of character, what are we doing here again? <laughs> we have one, we, we have one a tournament. Salmon fight. Yeah, we have won the tournament. There's a oh. secret thing that's hidden in the basement in this castle, and this was your end, so now you have to sneak out of your rooms yep. and find it and not get stabbed by guards. Wait, I'll yeah. go. Cool. We get rooms for the night? Yeah, you all get put into one big uh, dorm oh, room. Yeah. Um, I have to figure out where that dorm room is because I forgot to put a map. Or there are multiple beds. <laughs> Okay. Actually, there's a small little area with beds over here. It's like a supply closet. Mm -hmm. um, if you ask the king, he's just going to tell you butter cuts. And then... <laughs> See, uh, Colin's just going to look over... Look at the top right of the map, and that's where you all are. There's just be. mats on the floor, and that's where we sleep. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, the king escorts you. Um, you do notice one odd thing about the geometry of the castle. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. Um, it seems that the castle isn't as large on the inside as you would expect it to be. You mm -hmm. would believe that there's some extra planar stuff going on, like Morning Canaan's Magnificent Mansion and other stuff okay. that sequestered some rooms outside of the material plane. Mm -hmm. All right, um, you're in your fancy quarters in the top right part of the map. Um, the king has given you leave. The room is full of you know snacks and drinks and other stuff. And it was like one of those long pull cord things, mm -hmm. and a servant will come if you mm -hmm. pull. Mm -hmm. You did notice, where you're walking through, that the entrance to the basement is in the top left. So see where those barrels are? It's like a weird thing that looks like an indent that goes down. That's the staircase. Um, it's not as well made as it could be. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little ping over it so that everyone can yeah. see it. Because otherwise it'll be kind of obscure. I see that weird purple thing in the mm. top left? That's yeah. where the entrance is. Mm. Okay. And you all are over here. Mm. So feel free to kind of discuss your plans and character as to how the hell you're going to get over there. Um, I have to apportion some more of the... Okay, forget it. Nope, you're good. All right. So yeah, um, you can tell that there's a gate between there and there. Two mm -hmm. guards guarding the entrance into that mm -hmm. particular area. Mm -hmm. How do we want to get into the basement? Propose that we make a split, but keep an eye on each other. Stealthy ones do the infiltrating. The ones that are not so stealthy just keep an eye on them in case things go south. <clears throat> so who's what the fuck are we doing? Oh, we're breaking into the basement to yeah. get something. Wow. What are we getting to get? <laughs> it's, we're we're getting the MacGuffin. There is something in the basement that they dragged in that seemed to be very important, and they didn't want anyone to see. So, uh, who's not stealthy? I'm decently I'm stealthy. I am surprisingly stealthy when okay. I would like to be. Yeah. Moderate. I think you are all yeah. exceedingly oh plus five to stealth. fucking yeah. bad. Oh, wait. These are, oh, these are both concentration. Never mind. Cajon has a plus five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm in... Uh, Boot has a plus five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm in plate. So you have... Disadvantage. 
Muse has a plus seven. Plus eight, because the gloves gave me a plus one. Alright, make sure to add that to your stealth check. Yeah. I couldn't find the gloves to put them in. They're a custom item. Just oh. give yourself a plus one, and we'll add the item later. Cool. Just. Uh, Rex has a plus four. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's and right. Savio has, spiking ridiculously high, plus eight. So you and Boots are, I mean, you and, uh, Savio and Muse are tied. Um, for it. Mm -hmm. The rest of you are decent at it, so the one person who should not be stealthing is the guy in heavy play armor. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone have enhance ability to cancel out that just Because I do, but I also have hospitality trace, and that's also concentration. That would be way more useful if we had pass without trace, if we're being very meta here. We have pass without trace is something that you would know would be way better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm saying, so I'm definitely doing pass without trace, but if anyone okay. also has enhance ability I for the. For the plate armor. Yeah, I do not. Yeah, you get a plus 10 bonus to dex. Uh-huh. So, pass that trace would be pretty huge. And can only be tracked by magical means. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wait. What's that rider? So, like, even if we're just, like, stealthing through... Divine can't... magic can't track you. Oh, fucking A. That's dope. I did not realize that was a rider. That's cool. So we could just fucking conga line down. So, so what is it about my plate that uh, gives me this advantage? The it's fact that it's, it's clank, heavy. Clank, clank, yeah. clank, clank. Okay. clank. Okay. It's just okay. the nature of plate. What if I alter self to cover myself in feathers to dampen the sound? No. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> I could use the plates this. grinding against each other. Feathers. I use the blah, blah, blah. polymorph. <laughs> To turn him into a mouse. You no, can no. do that. I'm not going to waste the scroll on that. It doesn't let you do anything like that. It changes you, not the clothes and stuff you're wearing, technically. Well, no, I meant, like, I would cover my skin in feathers, and it would, like, go between the gaps of my armor. And well, act cushion. as a cushion. Yeah, yeah. Act as a cushion, that would dampen the sounds. Yeah, but even, even with Pass Without Trace, even at disadvantage, I'd imagine we'd still be okay. Yeah, it'd be fine. Until you get found by vampire guards and they beat the yeah. shit out of me. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're vampire guards and they're uh, vulnerable to holy, um, I literally have a D8 of Radiant plus my... Oh, no, I don't have Smite. Oh, yeah, I, uh, in case y'all don't know, I don't have Smite. You don't? I don't have Smite. Yeah, you bargained in a way to have more resistances because he's mm. dumb. Um, mm -hmm. I have resistance to all damage permanently, but yeah. I have cool. the Sacred Flame Cantrip. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. I have Divine Fury. It's being, Radiant. Yeah, it was like, me being Fury Zealot, I have I... plenty of Radiant. Oh, right, so what's the oh, plan? Oh, I have Spirit Guardians. I have Radiant. What's the plan, gang? Um, I'm done for a stealth mission. I need, so. yeah. I mean, we, I could probably need, stealth it, right? We, I could probably stealth it. We need, yeah. we need All right, are we going to pass, are we going to pass, are we going to cast Pass Without Trace for everybody? Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, I will simply, um, if you want to know how to give it to yourself, just... Scroll over to stealth, see how there's like a little configure skill thing. And it says passive bonus. I'm doing it for you right now, Boot. You click 10, and then when Boot rolls stealth, it'll just do it automatically. So yeah, it was a... Why does it show that? Hold hmm. on a second. Well, it didn't apply it to everybody yet. It's weird, it should have done it. Passive bonus 10, check bonus. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, okay, it was the wrong one. Mm -hmm. I can't see this. Now it did. Yeah, there you go. So I'll just do that for everyone really quick. Okay. Cool. Oh, I did. It. I did it for Savio. Okay, good. I will do it for Muse. Just gonna make them way too fucking good at this. Yeah, yeah, oh, it didn't nice. add it. Did you put it in check bonus or passive bonus? Passive. That's you want check bonus, not passive bonus. Okay, so it's thirty-four. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now we'll do it. And then you check. Check bonus plus... Ten. Oh. I keep hitting... Roll that stuff. Actually, wait. No, it's There we go. You're fine. Uh, also, it's a disadvantage. So do a negative. You're not bad. It's a PP on these guards. Jesus, Rex is hidden from God. No. Wait, no. Um, roll a d4, please. Roll stuff. Remember the guidance is vocal and somatic. Yes, yes I but I can guidance yeah. myself beforehand. Your mum. And I it said I guidance myself. It. It's so still. I rolled a natural one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's eighteen. No, you were just testing them out. That doesn't count. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a concentration effect, so I could just maintain it while I enter stealth. 
All right. Um, we are now going to be exiting the room, I guess, and moving our way forward. The map is open. Um, right. You are welcome to just move yourselves. I know it shows like a big molten thing there. Just ignore that and walk into the main room. Then you go south and then to the left. Um, once you enter into the area that is down south here, um, the guards will technically see you. Let's see what their PP is. I don't think it's the world's best. It is fucking terrible. It's basically impossible for you to fail. <laughs> you just have to not get a one. And you, their yeah. PP is 12. So they're not the best at what they do. So yeah, what do we want to do, people? Taking off the fancy coat and making my way up. Yeah, changing back into my normal clothes. Yeah. You can move your tokens a little bit. Cool, okay. All right. Just use the arrow keys. And I'll keep my formal attire on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I worked really hard on it. I was, I looked topless that entire time, by the way. Because I was wearing my Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't, doesn't work like that. Like, look at the map. You see how, like, um. It was like the gray areas and everything, and then because you just basically went through several walls, the one, or are you just trying to see how far away it is. Oh, I'm. I, I was just moving to where we were. I don't know. You're in the top. Oh, right. here we go. Here. Yes, yeah, you were Buddhas right now. That's actually basically where everyone wants to be. Okay, got it. Um, when you enter into the line of sight down there, that's where you have to make your first check. Got it. Hmm. Where are the guards? I don't. Okay, there we go. They're across the hall to the left. Oh yes, there they are. All right. All right. Wait a minute. Let me. Wait a second. Make your stuff. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So where boot is right now, we're able, to access, we're able to access that. Yeah, you can go down. There. So we're all making stealth. Yep. Okay, got it. You can see though that there is a lot to get ahead of you though. Oh wait. Well, that's no good. Yeah. Uh, can I thieves tools it open? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Can I assist them with thieves tools wait to give them advantage? Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't move until Do it again. Mm-hmm. Was it an advantage or? Huh? Yeah, yeah, just click the plus sign. Yeah, there you go. You did it better. Wait, but, now give me a wait, stealth. Is, uh, are you using dex for the thieves tools? Plus 10 is only for stealth checks. Oh, it's only for stealth? Yeah. Okay. All right. Keep going. Oh, you have to open the door, so give me a stealth check. To do a quiet way. Yeah, you're, you're, the gate is open. The guards are discussing the latest, I don't know, blood sport, whatever the Carnathy do. They are not paying attention. Hey, Jerry, you smell something that smells like guys wearing a suit made of meat? Yeah, that's weird, Jerry. Why would anyone ever do that? <laughs> yeah, Jerry, don't stop asking questions like that. Just, no, it's only one time. just do your job. No, um, so do we have to go past these two guards? Yeah, you have to get past them to get into the basement. Okay, so one of the stealth checks has already been made and everybody else has to make them now? Yep. Is what you're saying? Okay, gotcha. Well, I never made the original Let one. Let me do that. Oh, yeah. Ugh. You're fine. The PP's 12. PP. Like. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, one final set of checks, I guess, to get close to them. How do we want to get past them? What do we want to do here? Oh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna conga line right past them. I mean, with, with, with that kind of a stealth, it's just like... No, you can't stealth right in front of them. <laughs> oh, you have to well, give right. me something a little bit more elaborate. Okay. Um, Jesus! <laughs> I think Savio is definitely conga lining past them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, but they. Savio is. Savio's gonna try. Let's see, do I have any friends? Is yeah. there a gap above the gate? You wanna crawl on the ceiling? That is actually a really good idea. <laughs> I, yeah, is there a gap it. above the gate? Do you have a climbing speed? I have a flying speed. Oh, oh shit. Uh, Wait, I, is that. What do I have that gives me a flying speed? You got a, um, Club one of the items three. you got. That gives you a swimming speed. Or is it boots of flying, maybe, that you have? No, it's a spell scroll. Yeah. Oh, that I, uh, thi- I think it's a spell scroll. Wait I got a second. something. It's a spell rod mm-hmm. tattoo of flying. Wait, um, That's yes. Okay, there it was. I yeah. think I have dual immovable rods. Um, DM? Yeah. I am going to be staying just out of sight of the guides, but within eye of all of my companions. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to be holding um, gaseous form in case anybody looks like they're about to get spotted. Good I'm going to cast it on them. Good choice. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. All right. So how are we going to get past the guards? Is there a gap above the gate? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to crawl on the ceiling with my flying speed. All right. Give me a stealth check with advantage. Nice. 
you skulk across into the corner. I will put you where you go. Cool. You are right there. And that was just a one-time use, right? Yeah, so it's gone now. Okay. So So they would definitely... So my flying speed is... The the way it works is spectral wings manifest. So they notice, like, the giant flapping. Yeah, and then I have to make noise. Um, If it's, like, the spell fly, you just, like, move through the air. One second. So where are the guards? They're right over there. I I have a flying carpet. Just throwing it out there. If you uh, wanted, it, yeah. it'd be ridiculous. Let's do that. Because I was What's about that? to, I was about to use my radiant soul, and I'm like, fuck that. If we just have a carpet. Alright, give me a group self check. Thaumatur- uh, thaumaturgy. thaumaturgy something down the hallway that way. Ooh, yeah. As we go past, I also have it. I also, have I also. Have everyone it. thaumaturgy <laughs> down the hall. We all have thaumaturgy. I think. Alright, everyone, give me a stealth check. Okay. Everyone. Add advantage because they're distracted. Who doesn't have to do check? Sure. So Boot can maybe think that thaumaturgy would be a good idea, but no one told Boot, so Boot doesn't have any idea what's going on. Do I, yeah. I, I telepathically tell you, hey, thaumaturgy down that hallway. I don't have thaumaturgy, I have special Okay. Just make one of the guards really clean. Like, huh, Do what? we get advantage on the stealth check because they're distracted by the thaumaturgy down the hallway? Yes. I have minor illusion. Can you... uh, and make it sound like oh, rats yeah. or something, not like something breaking in, but like... Mm-hmm. Something oh my god, up. this bus full of nymphomaniac drow succubi broke down in front of the, <laughs> that <laughs> castle. And they're just handing it out for free. So yeah, I don't like drow. And there's some very old dwarf men here. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm about. I like my men 300 and 4 feet tall. <laughs> yeah, we don't kink shame around here. All right, Rex, stealth check. I already, I already did. It was above the thaumaturgy. I had a 27. Uh, yeah, everyone fucking did a good job. Yeah. Um, so what do you thaumaturgy down the hall? Um, a bus full of drow. A bus of drow woman. <laughs> <laughs> the, sound, the, the sound of a woman loudly complaining that she doesn't have anyone else. Very loudly yeah. singing uh, 76 trombones from Music Man. <laughs> Does anyone have minor illusion? I do. Oh, so yes. you minor illusion. Oh, yes. Yeah, there is a drama. Wow! Uh, they <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. They are plain dumb. And, and since minor illusion is like, like a cantrip, so you probably yeah. can't do like a full person. It's just like a leg sticking out from a wall. Yeah. You see uh, Jerry punches the other guy in the dick and then just runs down the hall. <laughs> heavy breathing. The other guy scrambles. Um, in searing pain. They go down the hall. All right, so everyone can just scoot the toot over here. It takes an action for them to examine the sound or image that I create. Which is um, more than enough time for us to yeah. get the hell All right, out give of me voice. another stealth check so that everyone gets out of And you can do it with advantage to just get up to where the staircase is. Very okay, good. Good. Oh, whenever you roll with advantage, do the plus sign so that it'll oh. show it on yeah. the same line. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I did. It's all good. Okay, you... Are we just walking over, or are we using the carpet? Are you going to fly into the basement? Fuck yes. Oh, we're using the carpet. So you fly into the basement, and on the next level, um, in front of you is a Draco Lich. And you're like, why are you on a magic carpet? <laughs> why does that magic carpet say... Because my dragon can't uh, fly it yet. It says... All right, you are now Fantasy in University this basement, basement area. <laughs> Where do we want to go? Okay, um, here it is. Do you want me to read it out loud or just show you? Oh, wow, what is this? You said, where is the magic carpet? No, oh, you're fine. Oh, okay. And this thing is ridiculous if you floated down the staircase on my bed. It's, like, it's not stealth. <laughs> okay. It's not stealth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's silent, and I just yeah, assume we're all being silent. It gets rid of the foot step. <laughs> One second. So is everyone just like flat on the carpet, dog yeah. pile yes. on top of each other? Yeah. 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 So stupid. All right. The carpet um, rolls up where like the corpse that's like thrown out. Goes that way. All right. So which direction are we going to go in here? Um. Let's go south. I concur. Let's go south. Are you going to go south mm-hmm. on the left or the right? Um. Or straight through the door that you see in the center right there. I vote left. I'm interested in this left. Wall. I'm interested in this room off to the side. Okay. The loot goblin in me wants everything. The little octagon room. Mm-hmm. Ooh, there's a 
Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Hmm. I mean, probably at the library, right? Yeah, I guess. Sure. I'm not opposed to going right. All right, so we're going to go down the left. Wow, that is um, it's terrible. All right. Yeah, so my passive perception is bonkers yeah. high. So you round the corner and you immediately see a shadow uh, kind of skulking on the ground. Um, it hasn't noticed you because of your preposterously high stealth rolls. And my 20 passive perception. <coughs> so what do we want to do here? Um, You're still hovering on the ceiling, right? Yeah, so yeah. he can't. It can't see you. So you could totally just hover right over there. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I was, I was like, if we have opposite direction. I was, well, not even that. I was like, if we have an opportunity to con just continue recon, let's just recon and see what's yeah, like, here. If they aren't noticing us, we might as well just move on. This is such a ridiculous stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are the shadows those things from the Feywild that like? Like select your strength. Out. Yeah. 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 Don't want to do Let's that again. Let's be careful. Let's be suck. careful. All right. So, <laughs> um, someone can be leader and move their token and count as a magic carpet. Okay. okay. Uh, so, okay. So, I just scroll down there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me see if this fucking stupid asshole actually. Does it. Jesus. No. Nope. Nope. None of those beat my passive person. All right. You see the shadow. Um, as a matter of fact, there's another shadow down here. Savio just keeps their eyes peeled. Mm -hmm. Meets it. Yeah, okay, so you see the two shadows that are here. Alright. Can I actively do a perception check? Yeah. Because I think that... Watch it be lower than my passive. It is. What? <laughs> you see through the very... I see God. Sniped. <laughs> Um, you notice that the area is oddly quiet, though you do hear what seems to be pages turning from inside mm -hmm. the area to your immediate south. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. I, I relay all the information I get from perception text. Okay. Yeah, perception checks telepathically. Okay. To okay. everyone. Wait a minute. There's no door to this whole library thing down south. Wait, if it's the south, the, the noise is coming from, we should probably yeah, avoid Yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, there is no door. How do you get in there? In the staircases, I imagine. Or detect magic. Oh, there are staircases. Yes, there's staircase to the south and west. So and we came the... down the wrong entrance for that. We probably shouldn't go there anyway, if that's where people noises are coming from. Yeah. I'm going to say that uh, there's a door, because that's really weird. And I never noticed yeah, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's cool. Um, how the fuck did you get in there? There's staircases. I know, but where? <laughs> yeah. Well, this was probably a multi-level dungeon. Yeah, it is. There's a, there's a basement level below us. I'm just going to okay. say that there's a door in the south part of the dungeon. Right. All right, so... so like right here? Yeah. So, Boot, where do you want to go? Um, Not towards the noises. What? Not towards the noises. Okay, we're going to go to this little octagon room, then. I mean, do we just... I, I do kind of want to see where the noises... This is all... Yeah, telepathic. Yeah. I do kind of want to see what those noises are. Do you want me to just go take a peek real quick? So is everyone going to... Are you going to do that without the magic carpet, or...? I can take a peek because I'm still flying. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll and you have good stealth, right? Uh, I've got a plus 15 to stealth right now, so... Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you're it's good. being possible for you. Yeah, you're okay. good. I'm going to go I'm in. Gonna use my flying Wait, doesn't, doesn't that have an area of effect once you cast it? It's like... <laughs> 20 feet from whoever cast it or something? Oh, Path Without Trace, it's a, yeah. I think a 30 foot radius. Because that's where your high stealth is coming Yeah, uh, oh. if you move a 30 feet away from Savio, it won't, you won't no longer. Well, I'm also really, so want the two stealthy people just take a quick peek. So you're going to drop everyone we off? We can all go on the flying carpet. Yeah, I was like, this is so ridiculous. So are we all going towards the noise? <laughs> no, we're going towards the octagon. Oh, no, wait, no, wait. No, we're going towards the noise. That's why I only want to bring two people, because there's probably <laughs> someone there. Yeah, I have I have a plus seven. Uh, I have a plus eight to stealth normally, and I can okay. fly. I could go. 
Well, yeah, right, so like who's all, going? I was like, yeah, all the more reason to bring people because. Um, okay, yeah. In, in case stuff goes south. Yeah, yeah, everyone, yeah. Let's fucking like, do it. Stuff goes south, I mean, yeah, if you, if you need somebody to throw hands, I okay. got you, bro. We're taking the carpet. All right, uh, Boot, go ahead and plot the path. Uh, and then you're going to pull on stop. There's another fucking shadow. He's going to do terrible at his fucking stealth check. Yeah. Yep, no. you see him. Just fly right over him. Uh, Is this a door right here? Yeah, the door's right there. Okay. Uh, so you just go right into the door. Uh, right in front of you is a vampire who is reading a book, and... Um, oh, it used the wrong stuff. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was the wrong one, though. Hold on a second. Oh! Alright, 25. So everyone roll stealth now, actively. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, no. Okay. We got this, guys. That boy no, it's with or without. Or anything? It's with advantage. With advantage. Jesus. Roll it on the same thing oh. so I can oh. read it easily. Oh my. Oh yeah. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> you punched the sound. <laughs> yes. Yeah, All right. Uh, the only person who fails um, is Boot. And then I guess the way that this happens is, is it a I guess the first thing I guess they just notice the carpet. They <laughs> hear you. Then right. they notice the carpet. Wait. Do I use group stealth mechanic? <laughs> Which is an average of everyone's roll. Rex is, I, ma- I imagine maybe Boot let out a fart. 20s. Yeah, Boot let out a fart and Rex <laughs> just like jammed it right back at him. <laughs> <laughs> just grabbed him. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're, you're fine. <laughs> just let out a squeak and I just look over and I'm like, stop. <laughs> and it just stops immediately. <laughs> I guess it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been my Must imagination. Been <laughs> What's he reading? <laughs> Um, go ahead and give smart. me a perception check to see what I'm also going to check to see what they're reading. It's just vampire smart. Bad. <laughs> 20. It's Anne Rice. He's oh, really yeah. uh, <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> interview with a vampire? Yeah. Hey, look, it's me. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, okay, so it's me. Twilight. He's reading a book on uh, astrological, uh, astronomical signs and the movements of the planes. Mm. Hmm. Some astrology bitch. What? Anything else we want to do in here with your ridiculous fucking rolls? Well, um, we know that he's a cancer. I say telepathically, do you think we can take this guy? Yes. Should I mean, we? we get a no. <laughs> no, we should, we should not. We should not test our luck. He probably he has a, the leader. Do not get into a fight inside the lair no. yeah, of the king. Actually, no, do do it. It's a great idea. I I'd know. like to, wait, I'd like to reach into my bag of holding and pull out two barrels of gunpowder, please. No, oh, no, let's no. not. The barrels drop on the ground, <laughs> shattering, <laughs> immediately breaking the illusion of the bench of carpet not being super suspicious. Someone <laughs> cast fireball yeah. onto the gunpowder. I it ends won. him. I guarantee you. Yeah. Wait, fireball. I guarantee you. I have the so many magic missiles. We're hidden from him. Would we get a surprise? You would. We probably sh- we we, we should no, we no. really well, should. Here's the thing. Here's the I thing. Too, here's, here's the actual thing. Oh, actually, there are. Do three we know he's a bad vampire? Isn't there? No, we don't. Hence another yeah, reason so why we, we should, should do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We should just leave it be. Do we notice the other two vampires? Yeah, you notice there's two okay. vampires. There were three vampires. Here. What we it's also like, know in general brother. is that this is an intelligent enough creature, given that it knows how to read, that it's probably coordinating with other entities in this lair in case something happens. All the more reason to not fuck with anything. Okay, uh, we're gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave him just to down a, those le- stairs. Leave him to a spot. Let's get out. Library. Look, just just casually. Come they will down. notice that. I don't care what <laughs> okay. you will. They will notice that. All right. A giant okay. Carpet. So we thaumaturgy in the opposite directions. So they all go run and check it out. <laughs> hey, Wait. Joe, did that sound like Buxom Drown? Sure it did. <laughs> <laughs> let's investigate. Let's see how many times let's this can work. Let's just go. Let's just go to the Wait. octagon room. Yeah. I just Probably imagine they all coordinate around. later and they're just okay. like, man, there's we'll been a bunch we'll of bucks some trout running around right. here lately. One I don't know where to came I have, I have an idea. I'm going to insight to see which one of them looks like the one that'd be picked on the most, and then thaumaturgy a fart sound from him. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, yes. That is actually no. really good, and I like that. Yes. Oh, yes. Hey, Jerry, why are you fart? I don't know why they're all Jerry. It's just funny. <laughs> it's right just a good name. Okay, so let me see here. What the fuck is here? Do, 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 do. All right, you get up into the octagon. The octagon. Do you want to check the ultra? The ultra. There's just MMA fighters in here. Um, it's just a, a room where it seems to be private study quarters. You see, in front of you is a magical elevator, and the doors are open. Neat. Ooh, does it go down? 
Yes. Um, Is there anything interesting in any of the private study rooms? You would have to investigate. Should we stop here and investigate? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. But we don't know about inside the rooms, and we have a mission. We don't know what we're looking for, do we? You do not. Completely meta. Paladin, this is something that is very much in your wheelhouse right now. That could help. To find sense. Jim. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm a negative to my hint. <laughs> That's not how that works. That's not how that works. It just um, kind of pings like a Geiger counter, I think. Yeah, yeah. fine. I'll, uh, I'll burn a divine sense. Yeah, it's literally just a radar. Like just a quaint. Okay. It's a, it's I think a sonar. it's 60 feet. Yep. I'll do it for you. Oh. We do it three times. Oh, you only burn once. Just make sure that... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I fixed it. Uh, until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any celestial fiend around dead within 60 feet, but that is not behind total cover. Uh, technically, it wouldn't work through the, the doors. Right. Yeah. Mm. Um, what, so if we, what if we open all the paladin's head, head in every room? Well, that would very obviously tell yeah. someone... Uh, it's it's someone it's a face that we're here. Wait, I have an idea. Rex, what's your strength? A lot. A lot? I want you to pick me up and wave me around like your rod of detection. Yeah, but you still wouldn't be able to detect through the door, well, is what we're you, saying. You you put my head through the door. That defeats the purpose of why we're doing Divine Sense, though. Because Here's now, John! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. it makes it blatantly obvious that somebody's opened the door. I say we go into the elevator and just go down. Okay. Yeah, I completely agree. Well, let me check my spells first. I might have to. Better do it fast. Okay. You enter the elevator. There are three buttons. One, yeah. actually there's four buttons. Mm -hmm. One says sub basement one, which is where you are right now. Sub basement two, and then one that says laboratory, and one that says ground floor. Um, the laboratory option has two sigils next to it with a hole in them. You determine that they are keyholes. There is a small sign that says in common, next to the laboratory keyholes, where it says access only authorized by both managers at the same time. Okay. You reach a conclusion that the managers have the objects that open the elevator, so you're going to have to find them and take the objects from them in order to access the laboratory. Can we do thieves' tools to finagle with the keyholes and try to jimmy it? Go ahead and try. Can I do that with advantage, given that we're both proficient? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Which, I mean, if your modifier is higher than I say, you should be doing it. I cast fine steeds in the elevator. Mine is... <laughs> yeah, mine is proficiency plus dex, so mine is just going to be... Uh, my dex is plus five. Mine's a plus four, so you should do it. With advantage. your proficiency, too? If, are you proficient in those tools? 25. Okay. okay. 25. You start with... Touch. Guidance. Guidance. Hey, 26. <laughs> you finagle around with it and what have you, um, and you do a depth enough job to avoid tripping the sensors on it uh, whenever someone tries to tamper with it. The lock is magical. You're going to need to get whatever objects the supervisors have to get into it. Okay. You did such a good job that you didn't trip the alarm yeah. and get... Worth a shot. Yeah. yeah, and completely obliterated by guards. Yeah. Worth a shot. Should we check on this floor, or should we go to the next basement? You can't take the elevator to the next basement. Yeah, I was about to say, be... it was like, these managers are probably just somewhere else, and we just need to go find them on another floor. I doubt yeah. they're in the laboratory already. You determined that uh, the guy that was reading the book had a badge on him that said manager. Mm. He's one of them. The guy reading the book in the library. Well then. Does anyone have invisibility? I do. We invisible someone in someone's desert pocket. pocket. Okay. I'm pretty good at that. Okay, yeah. I'm glad Gorel is in here because he's like a plus 18 modifier to mm -hmm. side of hand. You just walk in there, pickpocket the guy's soul, and then leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. These are all good ideas. All right, who is going to try to pick pockets our good friend, the manager? Well, depends. Invisibility lasts an hour. Yeah. Now, can you roll insight for me real quick? On what? On the three vampires in the room. Are you in the room? Well, presumably we're outside the room, right? No, we're you're not. You're over where Boot is right now. Yeah, oh. Yeah. oh, wait, so are you going off on this mission on your own? No. Pickpocketing? Unless there's another plan. I, I guess we could sit outside I'm, the room I'm gonna to do my a 30-foot yeah. radius. Right. You're going to do your fight plan? Let's just Jerry go fight. outside the room, sit out there, give you that 30-foot radius. Mm -hmm. I think you can pick pocket on one from yeah. the inside. 
Yeah, you go in solo, but we're literally right outside, right by you. Just Still in case something goes south. It's okay, it doesn't matter how far you get, I have 60 foot range. Alright, give me another stealth I'm check to go over there with impunity. Do it with advantage because of this stupid flying carpet nonsense. Okay. It's so ridiculous. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Everyone has to do the stealth. Oh. Huh. Look at I mean, do I have the same modifier you do? Another natural 20. <laughs> oh, nice. What is with this? Nice, nice. Alright, nice, you nice. get there with impunity. Now you can make your sleight of hand check with advantage. Alright. Um, do I need to do the fuck on Jerry? Do you if you do the want to do If you want, but... That's gonna make them more alert. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Uh, do I need to roll a separate stealth to get in the room, or am I just... Nah, I'll stealth? let you just sneak the door open. And you're slowly mm -hmm. trying... He, he's sitting in a... Um, let me actually move him. Guidance. Can anyone guidance this line? Oh, yeah, guidance. No. No? No guidance? I'm guidance. No. It's verbal. Oh, it's verbal okay. semantic. It's verbal. Uh, Casting it is a 12. Like, instant 12. That's as quiet as you can get without um, silent. Oh. Silent uh, metamagic. Yeah. There's actually a rule for how far away you can hear stuff, but it's only on the DMG screen for some stupid reason. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a calculation based off of a base twelve. Yeah, it's fucking weird. So I'm just gonna. Do I have I have guidance? No. Yep. Yeah, but no advantage. You have advantage. I do. Well, we can advantage no guidance. Advantage no guidance. Well, you can, we can cast guidance on you before you enter the room. It's a one minute concentration. Yeah, but with all these shadows running around, I, I doubt it. Yeah, that's the thing. I already rolled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna be. Fucking god damn it. Does the twenty let me get it? Uh, you. It's like around their neck, so they're gonna actively roll. Uh, percentage on this. Mm -hmm. Wait, me. are they in range of silvery barbs? Technically, <laughs> yes. Oh, I, just by the way, huh. I, I meant to say this before you rolled, um, I am not doing it myself, my shadow is doing it. Nice. Oh, okay. Then. Very smart. Yeah. I will have him roll with this. Jesus! Uh, um, I'm gonna uh, barbs this bitch. Oh, well. Yeah, like, what's the maximum distance of silvery barb? 60 feet, right? Yeah, but is that verbal somatic? I think so. Oh, fuck, it's verbal. There you go. Yeah, but are we far Wait, enough? wait, wait, since I, since I have, um... Uh, since I have telepathy speak thing, can I telepathically cast that? Uh, I don't allow that because it works. makes sorcerers useless. Uh, so what, I'm, what I'm saying? If it notices, right. it notices, but I am standing this 40 feet away house. from it, my shadow is just like reaching. Alright, the way it works, if you're trying to be quiet, it's 2d6 times 5 feet. So I'm going to roll 2d6 5 5 feet mm -hmm. and see how far your voice goes. 2d6 plus Voice goes eleven feet, so wait. Is that the side of the room? Yeah, so they don't hear you cast silvery barbs. Okay. Um, they dismiss the shadow as um, just a trick of light, and you take it. Yes. And you can give someone else advantage. All right, so you have one of the key cards. No. Um, we need two, so there's gonna be another pickpocketing, right? Yep. Um. Well, we still we need to find this guy. We we don't know where the other vampire is. Is the other vampire in here? Mm, no, we don't know. We gotta go find him. We need perception checks. Um, How we we still it? haven't explored the portion that is to the southeast, and we have also not explored fully the portion where we came in, like this large square area. We just went around it. Yeah. So those are two areas that it's like, there may be stuff there that we just haven't seen yet. And there's also a second basement. That's yeah, true there's too. a yeah. staircases that we haven't come yeah. across yet. That's true. All right, so where do we want to go, people? How distracted do they look right now? Uh, they're pretty intent in their reading. Uh, I'm not going to touch anything, but just take a quick second while I'm there to look more closely at like their desk and like all that. You can only see the one that's kind of over here, so go ahead and make uh, perception or whatever if you want to sure. figure something out. Um, yeah, perception the is... Can... Right in there, right? Perception's yeah. better than... Jeez, Christ. Christ. Um, really hot tonight. You yeah. see the faint glint of the badge tucked into that guy's pocket. The, the guy other guy's here? Yeah, he's right over here. Oh. oh. <laughs> Straight ahead of you. Okay, convenient. Well, yeah, that's Damn. Damn. convenient. They still have advantage on the side of hand, right? Yeah, uh, his will be flat because it's in the pocket. But right. 
you'll have disadvantage because the other guard, the other vampire, is straight up basically looking at that guy's right. direction. Right. So this one's going to be a flat roll. Okay. Um, you still have all the associated, associated boosts. Yes. Um, you better maybe go out and get some other buffs from the gang. Could I? Actually, wait, you... Could they take my silvery barbs advantage? Yeah, all right, you're welcome to use one of the advantages. Now, you're going to have to do a stealth to get over to the guy, mm -hmm. and then a sleight of hand to steal it. You could pick one for the advantage over the other. Mm -hmm. I think sleight of hand. Um, I have better stealth than I have sleight of hand, so I'm going to take it for the sleight of hand. Yeah, good idea. All right, so go ahead and give him stealth flat. Okay, nice. and let me. I'm gonna make him do it at disadvantage because he's engrossed in his book. I rolled a five, so a twenty-two. A not uh, one. Yes. At a boy. It's like, huh? There's actually other moons. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are great. Uh, so go ahead and stealth with a sleight of hand with advantage. That guy. Sleight of hand with advantage. <laughs> I need that advantage. Hi. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And now I'm going to roll his perception at disadvantage, because he's engrossed in his book, too. Yeah. You do it. All right, now just give me a stealth with advantage to get out of here. All right. I don't know. I think one failed as well. <laughs> nice. All right. All right, you are safely in the hallway. I'm not going to bother with the fucking shadows, because there's, like, no point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, now give me just a stealth with advantage to get back to the um, elevator. Okay. Well, that went pretty well. Yeah. You all did a very good job. Nice. Oh, everyone does stuff? You can actually stuff? just do your yeah. sheet again. Because we had the same thing. It's all good. I already got yours open. There you go. All right, you all do fine. Now let me open up. All right, so you go to the elevator, you slap in the keys, and you turn the knob, and you push the button for the laboratory, right? Sweet. Yes. All right, perfect. I feel like we're skipping an unreasonable bone of this quest. <laughs> we're just too good at our good, jobs. Yeah, if you're good, you're good. I made the enemies a little lower level in some areas than they should have. If you got those vampires' attentions, though, you would have died. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they, yeah. I don't know about that. 100, I mean, hey, 152 I HP apiece. Could paralyze you with a single hit. Could turn into smoke. <laughs> would not have gone well. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, someone had fucking passed without trace. Mm -hmm. Also called pass, uh, sidestep plot. I mean, I mean, yes. <laughs> okay, let me read the little lore box here. You're inside a sterile processing environment. In front of you um, seems to be a kind of secure access um, environment. Um, you can see that it also has a requirement of two key cards. You reach a conclusion that it's the same thing. Uh, what do we want to do here? Awesome. Right, so we're going to use the key cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. You activate the key cards, and you enter into the room. How are we going to enter into the room? Um, perception check. Perception check, yeah. <laughs> okay. Stealth or perception? you got to pick one. Okay. I will do... I'll perception, because that's my expertise. Wait, can't we do stealth, because we still have pass without... Yes, you can. With advantage, or...? It's flat now. Okay, okay. You're not on the magic carpet anymore, right? Wait, why aren't we on the magic carpet? Yeah, why wouldn't we be? <laughs> so you're just gonna fly? Okay, fine. Take nice. stole the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Natural magic 20. carpets, please nerf. <laughs> <laughs> Pass without trace plus magic carpet equals stealth mission on a success. You just hop on. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You enter into the room. Um, ahead of you is a lich. I love that nobody here looks up. Straight up? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Just Straight up? There's a lich. There's just a lich right there. Okay. Just okay. casual lich. Um, now, with lich. Savio, with your perception check. I see the lich. You see the lich, and you determine that the lich is actually blind. You can see that he has no eyes. Oh. Um, he I seems to be chump. <laughs> asleep or meditating or something, uh, but you can tell that at least for the time being, the lich does not know that you are here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I relate this to everyone. Right. Yeah. Well, that's so, uh, a... Yeah. He can't see it. Yeah. So, like, liches are, like, auto-evil, right? Like, we're no. good? No. no? No. They're auto-powerful, though. Auto-powerful. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Can we as well use his paralyzing claw on you and then auto crits him like a million times? Yeah. I was like, they are definitely dangerous all the same, whether they're good or not. He's wearing a small badge um, that says um, uh, Garandal, head of research, and maybe he's asleep on the job, you don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but he doesn't notice that you are here. All right, um, you can basically move around the room with impunity. I'm not going to make you roll anything because the Dutch doesn't notice that you're here and he's blind. Um, you do reach a conclusion, though, that sounds not good. Try not to make a ruckus. Can we try to take his badge? Take his badge? No. no. Do we want to take his badge? No, we do not. Why do we... In case other shenanigans comes up. All right, so go ahead, and everyone, you can kind of just move wherever you want and ask me some questions. Hmm. Everything. Um, um, only go in that L-shaped room and you're in right now. Every other room has a lock and a door on it that you would have to open. That becomes immediately apprehendable to you. Okay. Oh, you do tell that the door to the north has, like, a little hole in it, and there's a weird kind of glow. Everyone can see the glow coming out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, then. You can feel a kind of glow coming to the wall. Is that glow actually glowing? Yep. Yeah. That's freaking so is that where Garandalt is? Is in that room? No, he's not in the room. He's like behind the counter. Like he's behind a counter. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff in front of him. Orbs. Got it. Some okay. materials. It looks like he was working on something, and maybe he fell asleep, which yeah. is weird because mm -hmm. lunches don't sleep. But he's doing something. Can I insight check this guy? Mm hmm. Go ahead. Eighteen. Give me an arcana check with advantage. Yeah, something tells me he like might be in the middle of casting. Like Twenty-three. He, you can tell that he's currently doing the dream spell. Got it. Okay. He is talking or doing something to scare somebody. Got it. Um, you don't know how long he'll be doing this. All right. Um, I. This is the question for the DM. You should already know this. Um, does the spell blink make any noise when you blink in and out of existence? Like in between the planes? Verbal and somatic. So that's just when, that's when you first cast it, but when you blink between planes, does it make like a pop noise or anything? Mm, I'd say no. I have a okay. question. You know what? When I use alter will at will, uh, alter self at will, does that use verbal and semantic? Because uh, mm. it's at will. Let me double check that. What is that? Myriad forms again? Yeah. Yeah, all of those... Um, without expending the spell slot. Some of them right. say without expending material or somatic or verbal components. Right. That one still makes sounds and everything else. Right. Okay. At will, it still does its whatever nature it does. All right. Um, can we, like, move far enough away from that guy to where I can safely alter self into his shape? Um, yeah. It's very interesting. Go ahead. You now look like the Lich. Hmm. Hey, look at me, Mom. Don't <laughs> Um, I have a question for everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, Does anybody have a bag of holding? I do. Is there anything in that bag of holding? Oh, hold on, hold on. There is... Um, it's okay. How many pounds of that anti-petrification shit? Oh, it's fuck. Are you willing to well, be rid of Here's it? the thing. Here's the thing. Did the bag of holding get emptied out before I got yoinked over here? No. No? All right, so there's like okay. 80 pounds of anti-petrification medication still in there. I have an idea on how to get rid of this guy, but it requires the destruction of some items. Are you going to astral plane his ass? Yeah. Oh my fucking oh. god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have Hewer Tandy Habersack. And it specifically says, place in the half or seconds on an extra dimensional space created by ba a bag of holding, portable hole, or similar item instantly destroys both items and opens a gate to the astral plane. What's the distance? Um, this is like 20 feet or something, right? Oh, it's any creature within 10 feet of the gate is sucked through it. So, could we find a way to, they like, ground ourselves? Does anyone have Mage Hand? You're gonna, well, I you mage hand. You move over here okay. for the recording. We can literally just mage them into each other. Um, the oh, only uh, thing... Wait, how much does it weigh? Because the cap on mage hand is 10 pounds. It weighs 5 pounds. Well, shit, yeah, you can just drop it in there. That is fucking... I am so annoying. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, here, here, here's the thing. Casually get point this out. We don't know if this guy's evil. And? We want him out of the way. I mean, yes. We might not need Do liches have a way of getting back... <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a powerful Lich Mahal. Oh, yeah. shift. But even he, those, like, even if it's only a few minutes, those minutes of inconvenience could be yeah. a burden for us. That's minutes of convenience in return for Before his Before we do this, I want to make sure that he doesn't have anything on him that we need. Like so car. I'm going to investigate the door with the glowing hole. Okay. Investigate the door with the glowing hole, and there is a badge reader on it. <gasps> is there is the like crack in the bottom of the door, or a keyhole, or something like that? Mm, there's a crack on the bottom of the door. I have gaseous form. Yeah. And blink, which, does blink let you move through walls? Uh, I need to I have Misty Step. I also have Misty Step. You have to see the spot you that you're going, the spot into. you're going to. Mm-hmm. But there's Te- a hole in the door. Technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. Technically, what? Blink you would be you? you would be able to Misty Step through because you could mm-hmm. see through the keyhole. You return to a space. Mm-hmm. So you'd have to be across the door before you can blink to the door. It's, uh, you can return to an unoccupied space of your choice that you see within 10 feet. Okay. If yeah, you can also be Misty able to... Step in there. You can't miss a step in there, but you, I, yeah, I would. You could gaseous form under the door. Okay. I have a question. You know what? What if I try persuading him that he's lucid dreaming? Because I look like him. No, <laughs> do not wake up the lich. <laughs> I really wish that uh, we could astral plane this motherfucker, we but could. we need his badge. Do we? Oh, oh yeah, for the. Unless you gaseous form under there. I could. And do it. I can also make somebody else gaseous form. Who wants to turn into a cloud of gas? And I do. Go. You want to? Mm-hmm. Wait, who's got the best investigation? I've got a plus eight to investigation. Mine's, uh, inve- I have a plus four. I can gaseous form under there. Yeah. Nobody better than a plus eight? Mm-hmm. On um, what? Investigation. investigation. Oh, no. Not yeah? No? Alright, um. Resistance to number of Yeah. Cool. I I Make sure to cast it. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How does one? Do I cast this? <clears throat> Is this a spell scroll you got or did you learn this? I learned that. Oh, uh, oh, Wait, before I go in, can I check to see if there are any, uh, like, yeah, alarms on the inside? Not that. Mm-hmm. See, there's, like, a little dice next to it? Click oh, on that. that. Click that, and then you can cast it at whatever level you want. It's automatically going to cast it at the highest level, so mm-hmm. don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, what did you need? Uh, can I, before I go in, check to see if there are any alarms on the inside? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what do I roll? Investigation? Yep. 21. Um, there are, there's only an alarm if you attempt to Jimmy open the lock. Okay. Then I go in, and I'm going to investigate inside to see if there's anything interesting. Um, on this side, the door, you can just push it open, and it'll unlock it from the other side. Oh, okay. <laughs> Easy. Wait. What? Do I want to do that? Uh, it lasts an hour, so you might want to do some reconnaissance first. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. All right, uh, start scrolling around. What do you want to look at? Um, you are over... Let me show you. You are... Where the hell did you go? Oh, that the door's not there. The door's, like, down here. Oh, okay. So it's, like, here. Oops. <laughs> okay, we're going to fix that. You're in there. Okay. Now, there's another door that's up ahead, but that one is just... Looks like a standard metal door with a little door handle on it and a small little window. On it, and that's where the glow is kind of coming in. Okay. And that glow is kind of being reflected off a bunch of mirrors in this hallway, which is then being reflected off of uh, kind of under the door down to the south. Okay, I'm going to check this first door on the left. Uh, um, investigate. Yeah. Ten. Determine it is a door. <laughs> I'm going to... D- um... Is there any, like, lock on it or anything? Nope, just looks like you push it open and it'll open. Okay, I'm opening it and I'm going inside. You open it and you get hit with 17595. Yeah, uh, you open it and it seems to be the private quarters of the witch. Ooh, is there... I'm going to investigate this little desk then. Well, go ahead. 18. Um, you see that there is what seems to be a copy of the spell book that he is working on in here. I like he was copying a spell over and something else. Pocketing that. All right, so let me roll oh, up yeah. a random spell. You can't book. touch anything yet. 
I can't. Oh, yeah, because you're gaseous. Oh. You? All right, so just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, is there another ID tag? There is no ID tag. Any here. keys? No keys. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to keep that in mind, and I'm going to go back out. All right. And then I'm going to go straight to this door. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to check... Actually, I'm going to check out this little desk thing right here. Do an investigation. Natural one. That's just a nine. Like, just looks like meats and cheeses to you and some nerd books. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to... Is there another lock or anything on this metal door? No, that one just seems to push open. Can I investigate to see if there are any alarms that are going to go off or anything that... Investigation. Thirteen. Uh, nothing looks outwardly suspicious here at all. Um, I'm going to spend an inspo to, uh, re-roll that. Fourteen. Because I just used one. Yeah, but did you forget to add the three from the crawfish pool? Three? I only got one from that, didn't I? Yeah, you got one. Yeah. Oh, I thought you I thought you hoard yourself up for like an extra two. No. Well, yeah, I think you did have three, so yeah, you can roll again yeah. if you want. Okay, cool. Um I'll roll again. Well, Twenty six. Oh. The door is fine. The door's fine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have, you have three, I'm gonna go way. into the room. You go to the room and in front of you is the following object. Uh, it is a dodecahedron with 12 faces. Each face is roughly two feet wide. However, one face is missing, revealing the interior of the object. The interior gives off a faint pulsating quiver, almost as it seems to react um, to whatever is near it. The exterior is smooth and is reflecting the room around it. Um, is it attached to anything? It's just stuck on the floor, slightly levitating above it. Um, How big is it? Whatever a dodecahedron, dodecahedron with like two, two foot, foot faces. Yeah, it's it's actually a, it's a D twelve that has two foot faces on it, so it's pretty big. However, okay. probably about, about probably about fucking yeah, probably about feet. the size of this table. Yeah, yeah it's probably about the size of this. There's table. an item on the inside. No, it just um you can peek into the interior and it just it seems to be a kind of strange pulsating mass, almost like the interior is alive. Okay. The exterior is made out of amber and it is polished. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to do with I the object? Want is the, are those controls in the, right there? Oh uh, yeah, it seems to be a monitoring facility. It's reading off energy signatures and other stuff that the object is giving off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna write down some of the energy signatures. Sure, and... go ahead. Give me a history check or an intelligence check with the bench. Um, history. Nineteen. Yeah, you note down some of the stuff in the heavy. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at these desks in the room. All right, go ahead. Ten. There's a variety of magical tomes and other stuff, and some spell scrolls, and then some of the notices. Um, you find one... You find one of the objects, though, is a journal, but it isn't a cipher. And you can't readily read what it says. Okay. Um, Comprehend languages wouldn't help with ciphers, would it? It would not. No. You have to make an intelligence check and figure out the cipher. I'm going to make an intelligence check. Nine. You do not have no idea. You're not good at this. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Except I literally should be. I have an intelligence of 20. Yeah, that's true, yeah. You can try again, champ. I can try again? Yeah, go ahead. 11. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting it's another just, shot at this. You're starting to get a cold... So it's like affecting your ability, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's one other object that's weird. A small scroll made of obsidian. Fuck yeah. There's a note next to it in common that says, I've been trying to open this thing for days, and it frustrates every attempt. Can I try and open it? Yeah, sure, go ahead. What do you want to do? a scroll made of obsidian? Um, Arcana. Yep. 17. Cool. Nothing. Uh, you look it over and figure out that it's a physical thing. You have to crack it open. Seems like the mechanism is jammed or something. 
Of course, I'll let you know. If it. only there were some party members that could help oh in this regard. I'm going to go back and I'm going to open the doors for everybody. As a gas, like, you, 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 okay, I guess you, you, you break. You see a floating scroll in oh, the gas. Oh, yeah, the, like the mechanism. This. Can I go into the mechanism and fuck with it? Yeah, if you want, yeah. All right, go ahead and give me an arcana check with advantage to short stuff. 26. Uh, you break the door and everyone can just come in with impunity now. Great. It goes tsh, and then it opens up. Wayne. Okay, let me see. Open the door, walk on in. Sure. All right, and everyone's just going to make their way up to the room. Open the door, get on Are you still gas? Uh, am I still gas? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. you can keep staying gas warm if you want. It lasts an hour. Wait, yeah. couldn't you do the same gassy fuckery with the uh, scroll? Yeah, I was going to. Uh, that's what I was asking about. Oh, I thought you were doing the door down there. Um, it's just jammed. Um, you need some strong weirdo to fucking open it or something. Could be yeah. anybody. Uh, Could be anybody. All right, so do we all... Now, once that frustrates you, you're going to open the door and just let everyone in. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, what are we going to do with the door? Are we leaving it open? Are we shutting it? What are we shutting it. Shut it. Yeah. Okay, shutting then. It. Now, are you going to try to fix it so that it turns back on, or are you going to leave it broken? Uh, fix it. Okay. No, leave it broken. All right, give me an arcana check again. 12. What did it mean? All right, you just, if you shut the door, you figure out that it'll just reset, tap a couple of crystals, and bam. Okay. All right, so everyone is back now up in the main room where the creepy crystal is. Now go ahead and kind of explain to everyone what you just saw while you were down there. Um, okay, so this crystal, um, I'm not sure what it does, but it's, I don't know. I just relay what I saw. Okay. I'll reiterate, um, two foot wide, the interior looks like it's something kind of elaborate. Everyone is welcome to make arcana or investigation here. Okay. Might as well. Yeah. 22. Arcana or investigation. Or uh, anything really you want. Uh, well, I got a 22 do athletics. Arcana. Yeah. Athletics, you say. <laughs> Wait, did you say nature? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Wait. Okay, that was the 15-minute timer for when the Lich's dream spell ended. He just woke up. <laughs> so, <laughs> shit out of me. I don't know how loud it was going to be. Um, you hear a... <coughs> <coughs> Why don't they always put up a fight? Uh, hey. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks fine, I guess. Um, they, if you were anywhere not in that back room, he would have immediately noticed you. <laughs> and then it would have gone bad. Um, you hear him grumble in the back, so everyone make a stealth check. We you. hear that alarm go off at his desk. Yeah, seriously. Stealth? Yeah, stealth. With advantage, you're still up on that thing. Oh, thank God. Um, I also got a 22 on the Arcana for the deck that he drew on. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait just a sec. All right, does anyone want to do nature? Anyone doing investigation on it? I got, no. <laughs> I got an 8 nature. On the dodecahedron? Yeah. I got a 20 on it. All right, and what did you do? Uh, arcana? I, I did Arcana, yeah. All right, then. Uh, let me see here. Um, everyone kind of reaches the same collective conclusion, at least about the dodecahedron. It is reflecting everything in the room as far as an object does, but it is only reflecting one person. Got it. Savio. Okay. No one else has reflected in the service of this object. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Is it because I didn't make, because I rolled an eight? It is doesn't, that <laughs> it doesn't perceive you as a person. It only sees you as an object. Hmm. It's degrading. Now, you can relay that, that information to them, but that's basically the oddest thing you can tell about it. It is not reflecting anything that is alive except Savio. Interesting. Wait, Savio, are you fucking Wouldn't dead? Wasn't you a dragonborn? I don't think so. Dragonborn are alive, aren't you dragonborn? Yeah. yeah. Mm, Am I... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know I what genuinely don't survival know. check to see if I'm dead. Is Savio the closest you? person to the to the Are you talking about the furthest person from it? Um, they're... It's, you can tell that the distance doesn't seem to be mad. Okay. There's some other mechanism here. How does here. Sabia look in the reflection? Normal. Just like regular old guy. Can he do an intelligence save for me? Now, we still have the scroll and the cipher. Why? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was about to say, I was if like, If I I'll... stick my arm in between Sabio and the reflection, is my arm visible? No. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'd like to... pocket those Just two things? My reflection still... It matches you. What do you think? What if I alter self into Savio? The cipher journal and the... I alter self into Savio. You show up in the reflection. What the fuck? What the fuck? (laughs) All right, but also I'm going to alter self back into a lich. So I pocket the scroll and the cipher. 
Okay. That's you can do them here in the room, technically, if you'd like. Um, Should we do that while your boy's now awake? And you can hear him kind around? of bumbling around and whatnot. He doesn't seem to be making any angles up towards him. Oh, we have to touch okay. the object. I don't know if these things are going to make noise if we try to... Yeah, that's yeah, my that's thing. That's why so, I had you pocket them. Uh, that's a good point. I think... Uh, I guess... Are either of those the thing that we need? Hmm? Are, were either of those the thing? You could tell that this huge, mysterious... Amber object is obviously the thing that they snuck in here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All the other snuck. Every, yeah, snuck. All the other materials in here seem to be about researching it, examining it, determining it, finding out what the hell it is and how the hell it works. Mm -hmm. Um, can anybody else try this cipher? I mean, I, I can, but you might not want me to. It's just an intelligence check. Can you make an intelligence check? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not very good. <laughs> Eleven. That is a whole ass three. <laughs> I can't remember how the fuck to decipher ciphers. Look, when it comes to taking damage, I'm a champ. I mean, I can't... I should be the person being able to figure it out, but I can't. It, w it won't... I can't do much worse than y'all are doing. Has anyone touched the... What? <laughs> nice. There it is. There you go. I'm old as fuck. You I determine know. that it is um, a relatively sophisticated, almost kind of like, it's um, basically this book yeah. relates to another book. Mm -hmm. And then you have to relate the passages in that book to determine what this book is saying. Mm -hmm. um, you quickly deduce which the book it, what book it is. Um, you determine that it's like celestial script within draconic script and you figure it out. Or the I deathly. can speak both of those. Yeah, so I was yeah. about to say. I was like, we yeah, so everyone kind of collaborates, but Muse brings it together. Um, this is what the... Some sections of the journal are legible, except for this one portion. Mm -hmm. The object was discovered in the demon wastes. It's quite old, but shows no sign of age or wear, save for the single missing face. We believe it is an egg of some kind, and something within it hatched and emerged. It was found near reams of mutilated and preserved demonic corpses. It's clearly extra planar, but the exact source is unknown. Curiously... It seems that its polished surface underneath has a strange consistency. We believe that it may be writing of some kind. Um, then it kind of lists where the object was discovered in the demon wastes, and then lists um, some of the other recovered artifacts, such as the obsidian scroll. Um, and then you also notice that it talks about how there were certain infernal sigils found near the object, talking about various overlords, such as Sulkatesh, Rakutesh, and Belshamor, three very famous demons. Mm. Um, it talks about how the mummified remains had their wings removed and their bones were broken and their faces were contorted in pain. Mm. Um, and that's about the cut and dry of what, what it's What is your dragonborn lineage? Yeah, I was just going to say, is this because I'm a gem dragon? Because it, it's a gem? Uh, well, here's the thing. Why the hell did it reflect you? And then why the hell did it reflect me when I altered itself into you? Yeah, so that's one thing. It's something appearance-based and not inherent. Did we... Find an obsidian scroll that is yeah, talked about. Yeah, there's money yet. Yeah, yeah, I have it. I mean, I'll look at it in a time that I think would be more appropriate. Because right now, it might just you know, it could be dangerous. Where did you find it. the scroll? I just don't remember. Where did you find the scroll? I found it here on the desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Describe yourself. What characteristics make you you? Do notice that it also said that there was writing on the object, but no one has as of yet discovered oh. any writing. <laughs> oh. Um, can I investigate the object again to see where the writing is? Yes, I recommend everyone do this. Yeah. And Savio, you can do so with advantage. Okay, I, I specifically look for something. Okay, you're a oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Jesus. Given, given that it's pertaining. Like, <laughs> given that it was found in the. Given that it was found in the demon waste, I'm wondering <clears throat> if this might pertain to just dragon ancestry and Tiamat in general. Mm. Even though you're a gem dragon, it's like I'm wondering if this is somehow related to that. I like to casually alter my eyes to Soviet's eyes and then look at it, and that's why I got a Met 20. <laughs> uh, you determine that there is... Okay, Cajon is the one that gets this one. You determine that the object faintly under its amber surface, almost hidden by the gleam of its ultra-polished surface, is druidic writing. Ooh. Carved into the amber on every plate, every side. You determine that each plate says the same thing. So you only need oh, to read one the, once. Um, the, th the thing. Fuck, what was it called? This is one of the fucking rebirth things, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, I don't have it in my inventory, but the token we got from the guys, and we used it in the oh, lighthouse yeah. with the druidic on it. What do you it. want to do with it? I look at it, does it match the writing on You can see, um, you pull the token out, and mm. when you pull the token out, the dodeca, um, the Oh, object, does it fit in the side? Uh, no, it oh. glows more brightly when you pull the token out. Mm. And you can almost feel like you are being compelled towards the object to comply. Are you a druid? No, ranger. Ranger. It's kind of druid. Do you I mean, the one that was gifted the thing. I mean, while... So I don't think it's about me. I think it's about the token. Yeah, I was like, while they're, while they're doing that, I'm actually going to take a look at the obsidian scroll and just... It's not about the token. Somebody either. keep a lookout for your boy in case he Here. wants to I'll come back. You hear rummaging slowly. and everything, and it's like, wait, why is my door open? I thought we closed it. Close no, the other door. You didn't close the other door oh. in his office. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, you left wait. it open. Wait, here. Well, while he's dicking around with that, I'm going to I'd like to scroll. alter one part of myself at a time, switching between Lich form and Savio's form to see which part of Savio. It only reflects Savio. It only, so if I'm half Savio, half Lich, it reflects half of Savio. Half, half only. <laughs> All right. So I love it. I'd like to look at this world. All right, go ahead. Uh, how do you want to open it? You can tell it's stuck on there pretty tight. Well, I might know a guy that might be able to jimmy it open. Remember, you have advantage on your soul. Yes, I do. I mean, your uh, athletics checks. Any you have guidance. How? Guidance. I got it. You give it a firm <coughs> tug. It doesn't bunch. With a 26? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'd bunch. like to try. Wait. You're not as strong as him. I'm not as strong as him, but I mean, hey. But you might roll well. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and try. Can Wait, you do over a 26? Yeah. I was like, if it needs a 30. No, but yeah. I might be able to crit. Straight, straight, straight. As you all were rummaging Athletics. around doing this, you I hear the, the door close in the advantage. hallway. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> I put the token What did you say? The door closes in the hallway because the lich entered the hallway and shut the door to his room. Okay. Now the, um, now the lich is curious, and so mm. he's going to roll perception. I, I am going to, as quietly as I can, make my way. He rolled a 15. Where, Wait, advantage. Where is the door that no, we came in from? No, you got advantage. Like, I oh. have advantage, because I also... Is this, is this the door we no. came in from? Yeah, down there. Um, so. I am going to, as quietly as I can, make my way over there, and just, uh... I, I have my uh, dual scimitar, and I'm just going to stand there at the ready, just in case he right. comes in, because nobody else is doing anything about right, Everyone this. give me a self. All you have to okay. do is be a 15. So you can roll that high. You're all fine. Yeah, roll for him. Let's watch. Watch again. Two net ones. Two net ones. Two net ones. Two net ones. All right, you all do fine. The lich is like, ah, I guess it was nothing. I pull the token been. closer to the dodecahedron. It starts to glow so brightly um, that the light starts to shine out from the hallway, and you hear him go, Oh, I pull it back. <laughs> Fuck. No, no, because he's over. He's over there. He started walking his way out, and then that happened, and he saw it. I'm gonna make a roll. I'm gonna do it at disadvantage. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah. He's like, eh, it does that. And <laughs> he goes to back down. Alright, congrats. I ain't gonna have to roll stealth or anything. Okay, let's close the door. And then try to There's like a no. hole in the thing, so it's just gonna shine light regardless. We, we cover the no. hole. No, That's gonna be even more suspicious. I knock one of you about to okay. cover the hole with out of your hand. Fine. So wait, it falls to the ground wait, and makes a wait, sound. No, it's wait. like a cloth or something. It's not gonna make a sound. Wait! You have minor illusion. I just minor illusion, the same brightness out the window. Ooh, that is so base. Yeah. Would, would the real light be able to no. shine through the illusion? It blocks. No, it blocks. It's oh, then thing. yeah, sure. All right, so you keep the light stable. All right, what do you want to do, Savio? Put, I, I, put the token in the orb. And you know what? Can, can I use thaumaturgy to deafen sound? No. Or can it only be used to make it louder? I don't think you can use thaumaturgy for that. Only, yeah. It only, like... It only makes it louder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put the token in the thing. Well, or should we wait till we get out of here? How do we? How, how do, do we, we get this thing out? This? Are we not able to pick it up? It's pretty. It's, it's the like size of this table. And oh, it, I thought that was an aura. And it weighs like a good eight hundred pounds. It's hollow. You know, on. I don't care how strong he is. He's not gonna be able to lift this um, thing and walk out casually. If he can lift eight hundred pounds of raw meat, he can lift eight hundred pounds of weird eggs. Wait, what's the, is that what you did? What's the capacity of the carpet? 
Huh? Uh, oh. There's a very specific uh, <laughs> yeah, no, capacity for it. We would fail every single stealth See. check because this thing glows flying like carpet. Yeah, that's true. Uh, flying hey, carpet. what's that huge glow Don't we on? have a thing that guys. teleports us back? Flying Technically, carpet. we're in work here because this place is warded. Guys, guys. Not in this lab, but who knows, maybe someplace else. What's up? Flying carpet has a carrying capacity of 800 pounds. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, Perfect. wait, wait. We wrap it in the flame. We put a blanket on it. Darkness on this thing? That will be even more suspicious. It's a giant <laughs> swirling. It's like, hey, what's that black swirly mesh? That's a super. <laughs> I want to have, I, I don't know, major image? Can you cast invis- invisibility on the... I can only cast invisibility can? once a day. What if I just cast mass suggestion on everyone? <laughs> you do not see the glowing orb. I don't have math suggestion. All right, so so, so here's the other thing: is even if we sneak this dodecahedron out of here, what the fuck are we gonna do with it? Like literally, where are we gonna bring this thing, and what are we gonna do? Well, it's gonna be super suspicious the entire time, <laughs> right? <laughs> and everyone in the kingdom is gonna be out looking for it. Well, we get out of this warded wherever we are, and then teleport back. We bring it back to a guest bedroom. <laughs> Teleportation has a maximum weight of a thousand pounds, oddly. Okay, so one person at a time. Okay. Yeah. I think at least one of us is going to weigh under 200 pounds. I do. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the purpose of this, at a minimum, was recon. And we have done that. We have found something that they were trying to sneak in, some dodecahedron that is pertaining to druidic magic, that they don't quite know what it does. And neither do we. But we at least know where it is. Aren't we supposed to bring it back, though? Yeah, I thought we were supposed to get Counter-offer. it. Counter-offer. Yeet. Well, we're underground. <laughs> we're underground. Well, I mean, we can just go into combat. It's fine. We'll live. We'll uh, no, we will not. Lich? Hmm. Like, we don't know what they intend to do with it because they don't even know what it does. They just oh, discovered it. Oh, I do it. not have catapult. Does anybody have something that could hide the thing? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do wait. I not have I have, a, I have a question. Mm. Um... Am I able to misty step with this thing? Oh, can I? Can I misty step this thing above the lich's head? Wait, I also have something that might work. You only bring yourself with you. Could oh. I put it in rope trick and drag it around like a balloon? Jesus really? Christ! Hold on a I second. might have something. It doesn't say anything about it being. It's a, it's the size of the hole. The extra dimensional space can be reached. Um, Text and spells can't through to the entrance or into above. You put those inside, can see out of it as through a three foot by five window. So not, yeah, it's not going to fit. Damn it. What? I have an idea. What? Can we teleport from the astral plane? Huh? Can we? They're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> can we? <laughs> we have the <laughs> yes. I, I will allow that. <laughs> okay, but before you do, I'm reading something. Just a sec. <laughs> so someone who's not Because that, 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 that could kill all of us if we're not careful. Yeah, we're literally we going to just. The astral plane. Yeah, we're going to take ourselves to space where there's potentially no air. <laughs> an astral, you can actually go to the astral plane and you won't die. It'll just be in the astral plane. You don't die in the astral plane. Okay, got it. So I will caution you teleport um, just works in the main material plane. Yeah. It's not plane shift. Right. You will be stuck in the astral plane. Right, oh, exactly. You just said. Oh, wait, you bought the amino of the planes, though. Yeah. Forget it, you're fine. It <laughs> works. You stupid bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually plan on ever using this. <laughs> but we have an idea in case whatever Eris is doing doesn't work out. Okay. Incredible. Okay. okay, so I can't bring anyone else with me with this. What do you mean? It would just be me and I'm pretty sure whatever I'm carrying. For what? Um, Genie's vessel bottled with spite. Yeah, you only get that at a higher level. You can put other people in it. Yeah, but I can put myself in it and whatever you I'm carrying. Put- you could put whatever you can. Like, we can literally just shove this thing into your genie. Yeah, genie thing. that's exactly what I'm saying. But it's not, it doesn't have weight capacity. It just has you space. Have, you have to be carrying it, though. So if they could buff you so that you could lift 800 pounds, and yeah, I'd allow you to... That's... Sh- what's your strength? <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Okay, it's a lot of it's buffing. It's 150. Do we have a potion or a giant strength or whatever? We did in the vault. Did Back at base, there? actually, yeah. Which is not... I think we should do the... Astral Plane scam is so stupid, I want to see it happen. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. 
can't you can't we just shove it into your genie vessel like a bag of holy? They have to carry eight hundred pounds for it to work. Mm -hmm. My genie vessel. Well, you, you haven't seen that. Could. Okay, let me know if this would count as carrying. You just lie on the ground, like on your back with your arms out. We roll it onto you. <laughs> Gets crushed. That, 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 we just carrying. crush you. <laughs> no, what it says is it says that any creature within 10 feet of the gate is sucked through and deposited in a random location on the astral plane. The gate then closes. Yeah. yeah. We would only... But the object is not a creature. If one of you was carrying it, then I'd let it go. Which none of us can. Yeah, it's too heavy. I don't have a carrying capacity of 800 pounds. Unless you all did a tag team We all it. carry it? I would allow that. But we would all be teleported to different locations in the astral yeah, No, you I, would all... If uh, I recall correctly from the we PHB, carrying capacity is 30 times, or 15... No, it's 15 times strength. your strength modifier... To push, pull, or drag is 30 times your strength modifier. But all the same, it's like, I cannot move this thing. You have a 20, right? I have a 20. So that's 300. If a lot of you combine equal 800, I will allow you to lift it. And then if someone else comes up with a cockamamie way to do the astral sea, okay. I will allow you Does to... Does anyone have enlarge reduce? No. no. Works on... Yeah, just whatever your strength oh, score I is times five. Uh, do more levitate. how borrowed knowledge works. I do not. I have it, but I don't have it prepared. Huh, the target size is halved, and its weight is reduced to one-eighth, so a hundred pounds. Does this work on objects? You target a creature or an object. God damn it. <laughs> if any of you have this spell, you could just fucking shrink it to weigh a hundred pounds. I have it, but it's not prepared. Yeah, so we don't... We Wait, no, you it. have a Mism apparatus. You can prepare the spell automatically. Oh my god, I just have to unattune to one of my wands. Yeah, and, and then attune to yeah. that Wait, what are you attuned to right now? It does take an hour. Mm. You're attuned to your cape, your wands, and what else? A barrier tattoo. A barrier tattoo? Oh. You were the one who told me to unattune to the museum apparatus! I was. In fact, I was. <laughs> this is true! <laughs> do, you did. do we think Wait. how long does it take for me to re prepare a spell? Uh, Eight hours. A long rest. Long rest. Yeah. yeah, let me double check. Unless you have that thing. It'd be faster to reattune to uh, the arithmism mm. apparatus. Which we don't have an hour. Do we? I mean, we might. This dude seems like he's not doing fuck all. Maybe try yeah. to get the guy to leave and then... Who knows? Mm. I mean, I can look like him. And I have high persuasion. The what if I just, you know, convince him that hey, he's Hey, there are a bunch of random scrolls lying around here. Wouldn't it be weird if one of them was in large or reduce? Oh, that would be so look. weird. There actually is. If you look on the map, you'll actually see uh, a large pile of scrolls in the corner. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, seven Wait, wait, wait. His fucking spell book. Go, go steal oh, yeah, his fucking totally spell book. To, wait. Is it, it's Where is he right now? He, he went back to his usual roost. You can kind of hear him even now tinkering with something in the distance. Yeah, the spell book was in the other room. Yeah, so you could technically get there. You still have the, um, the thing is still up. You could do that if you want. Let me what, the gaseous one? What are you talking about? Uh, the uh, fucking Pass Without Trace. Right. Yeah, you still yeah. have that. But right. you're going to have to be within 30 feet of, uh, of Buck Let me see what level Spellcaster he is again. He is it's probably an 8th or ninth. <sighs> what if it was just one of the spell scrolls? He's 17th. Uh, yeah, no, we don't want to fight that. No. He will kill you. Yeah. yeah. And even if you kill him, he's not actually dead. He just no, comes to the lich. Exactly. All right, he's a 17th level necromancer. Uh, I opened up what his spell book would have on it, and it is none of those spells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am now going to generate... Let's look at the scrolls. How do I generate a bunch of random ass scrolls? We tell you what we want. <laughs> Arcane tomes. Can I just have a casual, like, 10 scrolls of true revival? One second, I'm trying to remember how the fuck to make it generate a oh, magic shop generator. Now I'm going to open it for the scribe. Spell scroll. One, two, three. Okay, it's bark skin, feign death, hex, long strider, mage armor, moonbeam, Mordenkind's, and phantasmal killer. Hmm. So I want to burn in spell. I will roll it again. I will. I'll... Oh. Do you want to? Wait. I can. Sure. Check how many. Oh, wait, add. hold on a second. I, I did the wrong one. Um, I did it again. Um, oh my fucking. No. I want to look. No. I'm, I'm resisting. No, wait. No, wait. It has to be. 
Damn it. Okay, uh, there's a scroll of levitate, but the cap on that is 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's Blade Ward, Cloud of Dangers, Conjure Elemental, Guidance Jump, Levitate, Magic Weapon, Non-Detection, Raise Dead, Shocking Grasp. All right, you can roll, so I can burn an inspo. Are any of those I'll, I'll burn elemental burn an inspo. strong? No, not really. All right, so burn an inspo to re-roll? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's better start praying. Better hope it's in here, because I need fucking funny. Okay, I have to, like, do another one, then I have to load into it. Let's see what we got here. Uh, wait, Liam in secret chest? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it doesn't work. work. Yeah, I think wait, like... can you put it up there? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do it over here so you can need it. Okay, so these are the scrolls that are on the table. Clone. Crown of Mastery. Oh, Jesus, a clone one? <laughs> what? What is Liam in secret chest? Uh, I don't think it does anything. Wait, say. can we arcane lock and lock this lich outside of the fucking room? Uh, <laughs> he would have to do... Um, He's a 17th level spellcaster. Yeah, I think he would just laugh at it and just walk in. What the fuck does clone do, though? Is that the re regenerated ones? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to look up what Leo is. Yeah, clone is like an extremely time-consuming spell. It takes like, like 100 like a day. days. Yeah, it takes like a super long time. Uh, I'll burn an inspo, though. Oh my fucking... What? I can't believe it. Read Liam in Secret Chest. Is the cap 800 pounds? No, there's technically no cap on it. It's a weird fucking spell. Okay, you hide a chest and all of its contents on the ethereal plane. You must touch the chest and the miniature replica that serves as a material component for the spell. The chest can contain up to 12 cubic feet of non-living materials. Repeat. Okay, there's a cap to that. Wait, One. wait, wait, wait. What? This thing is hot. No. Okay. Because each face is two feet. Which means even it's though it's hollow. Yeah, yeah it's, it's automatically too large. Um, Has anyone identified the... And you still don't know why it only shows Sapio. Oh, it's well, not the token thing? No, because if I look oh, like no, you, yeah. I don't have a token. Okay, I'll, um, I'll burn an inspo on the reroll, though. Uh, what? You want to reroll another one? Yeah. All right, fine. I bet you five gold. Like a million you won't climb inside. I, I'm going to identify the thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Love its hate, prismatic wall, wall of fire, burn. Yep, nothing. Okay. Sucks. Um, one second. Fuck it, do it again. Really? I right, burn another inspo. I fight. I'm seven. Well, not five. Um. Wish. No, nah, that one's not on there. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. I burned an inspo. We can't use it anyway. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's, wizard a, can. it's a spell. It's on the wizard spell. Well, yeah, but it's above a spell level that we're able to cast. Doesn't well, matter. I'll let him do it. Okay. But you're going to have to use it to cast enlarge reduce. Actually, you know what? That's enlarge reduce. Okay. Let's okay. make it simple. No, I prefer wish. No, you're getting enlarge reduce. Okay. I will, um, I will use wait, scroll wait. enlarge reduce on what? this. One second. Feeble mind. I'm not going to feeble mind a lich. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm going to identify the dodecahedron. Let's do that after we get it back to the taunt time. Well, it might that might help us figure out a way to get it out of here. We've got the scroll of enlarge reduce. It now weighs we 100 have pounds, which no, means... No, we have right. a wish. I prefer the wish. No, it's enlarge reduce. Fuck. Um, it means that um, our friend over here, Rex, can just curl this thing, no questions asked. Cool. Right. So... Okay, are we going to astral plan ourselves out of here? Can no, we? let's sneak out of here. Yeah, let's sneak out... Can I keep all those, please? Uh, I'm fucking yoinking them. Can I keep I'll one? I burned in spell. I allow it. May I keep one? Yeah. I would like to keep the chest. No, no, it's oh, going to be this one. I rerolled oh. it. Sorry. There's a power word stun, which is pretty useful. Two mass healing words? That's nice healing. And then there's a feeble mind, which I think you people have two of. Here, I'll post the list in here. Uh, no wish, though. That's the new introduced. I mean, I still would have preferred yeah. the wish. I'll you could it. steal the lich's... Uh, book, which would be funny, and also probably make them glitch super fucking Well, it's not his book. It's a copy of his book. That's true. It is his copy. So do we have to I mean, stealth out of here? Because that's going to be really hard for this one. Yeah. Not really. And Large Reduce also lasts one minute. So oh, yeah, no. Oh, here, yeah, wait. Yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'll put okay. it in my thing. Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll just fit in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can carry up to 100 pounds. 150. 150. You can yeah. carry 150. So so literally just pass it over, yeah. shove it in there. Yeah. Now, do mind that this thing is going to become fucking huge, but you should be good on space inside oh, yeah. there, right? Oh, yeah. Um, 
Somebody yeah. please carry me out of here. I will carry I, you. And I disappear, and there's just a little tiny perfume bottle sitting okay. on the floor. Perfume bottle. I know. I'm gone. Okay, bring all those inspos and let us have the stupidest way. Okay, now you need to get out of here. Um, the Lich is right then and there. He's not an idiot. Um, what can, do we, what? Can, what? I, can, I, can I say that I did not take the rug back with me before leaving? Um, <laughs> the rug won't help us here. It'll help us outside this room, but it won't help us here because the Lich is right fucking there. Yeah, he's going to notice a giant carpet coming out of that room. Uh, I didn't take the carpet with me. All right, the carpet is still there. The carpet it. will help us once we're back in the elevator. The problem is getting to the elevator. Oh, you gotta get out of the glitch. It would be funny to eat yourselves to the astral plane. Please, can we eat ourselves to the astral plane? It means destroying two. You can buy them again. Like, yeah. It's not that big of a deal. And then use the gag again. Because it's really fucking funny. You just have, like, hey, look, it's our, it's our plane shift box, and it's just full of holes. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna plane shift? I'm okay with that. I, I am. Does my genie vessel count as a... Just have it on someone's person and then you'll go with Yeah. Okay, so, so if we're getting out of the astral plane, we have the plane shift amulet. Doesn't that put us back at a random spot on the plane? It's only if you fuck up the intelligence Okay, check. so some, you're a wizard, you're smart, so you use it. Okay. Um, Are we really doing this? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I haven't been rolling well tonight, though. What's the what's the DC on? You've, 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 you've been saving up your good rolls. You've been saving up your good rolls. Against a lich, what choice do we have? I mean, I can look like the guy and I can distract him. Let's well, astral plane. Yeah, let's astral plane. Yeah, let's just. All right. Looking up an astral sea map really quick, so we switch. All right. Cool to go to. So I'm unfortunately going to dump about. God, I don't even remember how many fucking. It just destroys. That you don't have to. Uh, no, no. I'm going to. No, that's going to alert the dude. If you dump it, just let it get destroyed. Like the entire thing missing isn't going to alert him anyways. Yeah, but that's Yeah, but then you're going to be literally not on this plane of existence. <laughs> and it says that you cannot be traced. Like, it's, it's actually pretty fucking foolproof, actually. Yeah. They call us the Space Lords. All right, in that case... No. Um, I'm going to just carry the scrolls. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and take those, yeah. Just... Okay. Uh, Astro Plane. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, let me... All right, I want to describe the cockamamie process of eating yourselves to another plane of existence, because this is pretty great. Cool. All right. You know, the only sad thing is we're missing out on tons of loot, I bet. Yeah, like, his book, which is, like... Do you want to get his book before we do this? You can try, if you catch it, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't want to risk it. feel like... We can with totally lich. get his He could power or kill you in your dead. I don't feel like <laughs> yeah. with a lich. <laughs> We don't. can totally take it. Right before you leave, no. you're just like, Hey, Jerry, I know you're the temp and you were just here because you weren't working with the orphanage today, but you got to get going, buddy. And he's like, oh, jeez, guys, I was having fun, though. <laughs> Where the hell's the Astral Sea? Oh, here we got Toggle Navigation. What the fuck is it? Am I an idiot? The loot goblin in me is crap. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's a lot of crap in here. All right, we're in the Astral Sea. I'm going to scroll out and put you all here. So, Ian, what did your players do today? They blew themselves up. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to get You know, by it's going to be really hilarious if you after we... You can't tell us if we'll have any dead. That is true. This map is, like, obscenely large for, like, no good reason, so <laughs> hold on a second. Can y'all see it? I mean, it is the Astro no. no. Oh. Yes. No. How they're being moved. So, yeah, it's going to be hilarious that, um... What you call it? We're going to go through all of this... And then Ian's just going to go turn around and say, <laughs> you know, I had a really Yeah, it's really huge. Really uh, I scaled it. All right. You are shunted through a horrifying series of lights. Need you all to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Is this magical? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to another point. Yeah. Mine is at yeah. advantage. Please, thank you. Everyone out of five to your save as Actually, well. Actually, yeah, everyone is out of five. 19. So basically, everyone passes. Uh, you don't, because you're, yeah, you're in the little box. Um, you are now in the Astral Sea, cool. in its wonders. Cool. Surrounding you are psychokinetic icebergs floating through an endless sea of lavender-colored light and sparkling nonsense in the distance. It's actually quite nice. Now, who wants to use the ambulance of plane so you can get the I fuck will. out of here? Okay, what do I have to do? Here, let's look it up over here. 
it is a DC 15 intelligence check, if I remember, which means you literally just have to roll above a 10, and you don't murder everyone. Okay, so, okay, then make a DC 15 intelligence check, so make an intelligence check. And, oh my god. All right. Wait, can I enhance ability? No, too late. Mm -hmm. On a successful check, you cast a plane ship spell. On a failure, you and each creature and object within 15 feet of you travel to a random destination. Roll a d100. <laughs> 39. You travel to a random location on the plane that you named. Okay. So we're on the right plane. Where should you go? Around and around they go. Where they land, no one knows. Exactly where we up. came from. <laughs> that would be hilarious. All right, who wants to roll a d100 and give me a range of five numbers? And if you land within that five, you will actually end up right back where you need to be. Oh, 42. oh no. 42 where to 47? Where we need to be or where we were? Okay, you roll the d100. So 42 okay. to 47? Mm-hmm. Okay, 42. Oh, oh. All right. I'm trying to think of what would be the most amusing place for you to go. Well, we can just teleport from there because we got the little teleportation thing. Yeah, it'll be pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah, so let's uh, let's put you somewhere. Wait, do we all teleport to the same place? Yeah, you go to the same place. Places. I'm not doing that wherever we're going to a different fucking location, even though it would be fun. What would be the most dangerous place for you to go? Uh, actually, I have an idea. All right, you're going to teleport. Um, so wait, we're definitely going back to the material plane? Yeah. Uh, oh. you roll, will you go back to Eberron so you're fine? Oh, we just go to a random, random place location. The so, material. you find yourself teleported, and you are on the shores of a sandy beach. Ooh. Ahead of you is a large galleon. Yeah. And you see a bunch of gangly um, half-elves um, half hang out over the side and go, Arr! What be ye? Let's teleport away. Pirates. Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> One second. A man comes out wearing a dandy uniform. And goes, oh, what seems to be the problem here? <laughs> Gentlemen, let's kill him. We have guests. <laughs> uh, so I have a question. What was my last form? Huh? What was my last form? You look like a lich. Uh, lich half dragon born. I'm very sure. <laughs> I think you switched back to looking like a lich. Okay. Um, you see the captain kind of lean in, see the lich, and go, "Never mind, lads. I think they're fine." <laughs> And you go, where's the frills? Where's the frills? <laughs> and you see the half half elves kind of scurrying around, quickly pulling down the sails. One guy's using wind gusts. He's slapping his other friend to wake up from his drunk sleep. They're all wind gusting, and then this, this ship just sails away as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Well. Um, can you roll a, uh, what would I say? Can you roll a wisdom save for me? I want to see if I'm a fuck with them or not. Let's say below a 10. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm you're not fine. All right, so who wants to teleport your asses back? I will. To base? Okay. So Why is my wisdom so fucking high? Because you're a paladin. You're a paladin. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. No, for some reason I thought the die roll was my bonus, because I'm used to roll 20 showing you your bonus. Mm -hmm. All right, you're back in the lair. Um, I guess we only have 20 minutes until the session traditionally ends, so do we want to do a little bit more investigating... Of the spooky D12. Yes. Yeah, I want to find out why. Yes, we do. Don't we have, like, what's his fuck face who's, like, super smart and has been around for, like, ever? Uh, the professor? Yes. You want to ask the professor to help you? Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, what the fuck is up with this thing? There's, uh... There's only one problem. What? <laughs> I'm not strong enough to pick it up and... Yeah, you're gonna, <laughs> you're, you're gonna have to somehow learn... In large reduce, go in there, yeah. shrink it, then or, take it out. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, this. there's a spell scroll. Our, in our beautiful world. wizard here can just scribe a fucking scroll of in large reduce. But then I would have to learn it and then go in. No, you it. don't. You just use you it. just burn the scroll. Actually, it needs true. to be on your spell list. Is not large reduce on the warlock spell list? Don't think so. Since when does it need to be on your spell list? Since forever. Since, that's how scrolls yeah, work. Yeah, that's how yeah. scrolls work. Yeah, really. Yeah, yes. very cringe. And thought, also, and this is what I was saying earlier, is that if it's above a spell slot that you are able to cast, you have to roll a check for it. You yeah. can do it, you just yeah, have yeah. to roll a check. Wait, so when did they change that? That's like, always been. Yeah. No, no, no one ever uses it. No one ever uses it. Because it makes scrolls kind of cringe. Cookie. But that's what makes wizards so powerful, is that they could just make them and keep trying if they want to. Of course, it's very time-consuming, but they can do that. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it's not on the Warlock spell list, so you are in a bit of a quandary here. But at least it's here. Uh, like, yeah. that, that's, that's okay. In four it's levels, like, I can bring whoever I want to Yeah, like, well, like here's, here's, here's a question. So we'll solve the, the, the current mystery. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we just describe question. the thing and ask, Yeah, you can just do that. Yeah. And, like, ask the professor guy what the fuck is up with it? Cause He's actually a, a, a wizard of scribes, so he can do it more <laughs> easily than anyone else well, can. there you go. So, yeah. Okay. So what yeah. the fuck? Um, you see him kind of like, what seems to be the matter? We found this weird um, dodecahedron thing. Describe how it looks, the hmm. situation in which we found it, and hmm. um, it doesn't reflect anything living except for me, and hmm. I don't, we don't know why. I'm kind of freaking out about it. <laughs> it reflects me when I look. He like reaches that. into yeah. his pocket and takes out several glass planes: purple one, hmm. a green one, a red one. You don't seem to be cursed, so the object is stuck inside a, a vessel of some kind. Ah, uh, all right. Here, one moment. I'm mean, actually, I forgot how the scribe wizards mm-hmm. can do this, but he can. I know they can make scrolls way easier than anyone else can. So he's just gonna rummage around in his pockets. Let me see. I use this to take my groceries in, in one trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. And it's a scroll of enlarged reduce. And he just hands it to you. Nice. Um, Sorry. And then I guess knock on the vessel for your friend to emerge. So. Can you see outside of it if I remember? Don't think so. No, you can't. Uh, Wait, you're let, aware. Let, let me check. Let no, me check. you're let me aware check. of your surroundings. All right, so you know that they want you to come out, so you can just come out. Yes. Um, Let's look up and see what our scribe friend can do. I can only enter or exit it once a day, though. So you're not doing it again today. Okay. I can do it tomorrow. We can spell book. It's once a long rest. Manifest mind. Master scribe. There it is. Oh, but a long rest for me is only four hours. Oh, yeah, that's true. You still have to do the entire, uh, yeah, right. yeah. It just means that you can dick around for four of those. It means that, yeah. 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 That's the benefit of being the fucking home. Okay. All right, you hand you the scroll, you come out, you go in there, you shrink it, you take it out. The object is here. Mm-hmm. It's glowing, it's horrifying. A day later. Uh, let me actually, um, go ahead and roll your checks and how you want to scrutinize it. It has the same effect, it is reflecting the only living thing it is reflecting is Savia, and it's continuing so, to do that. Can I, I would change? Like to... yeah, we'll what? Me? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, can I change into a different dragonborn? Yeah. You alter self or something if you want, or minor illusion. Yeah, good want, call. Or yeah. major in minor image or whatever. All right, you do it. Yeah. Nothing. I'm gonna. Can you just? Do you have any family members that you could describe to me? Show me, maybe. I I take I take out like a, like a mini photo album and just like flip open to thing of like, thirty plus dragonborn of varying ages like mm. one. Okay, I'm gonna Come shuffle through. Do you know and just any alter druids? self into the various dragonborn? Do I know any druids? It doesn't do anything. So it doesn't. So it's only Savio. Mm-hmm. Well, we narrowed this. it down to just you, not any of your family members, Wait. not any old dragon lord. So what if there's three Savias? So, try. I would like to turn it to Savia. So, <laughs> Professor, do you know any druids? I know a few gentlemen. I suppose I could have them come examine the object. It appears the dodecahedron is etched with druidic quick. runes. Hey, you can see the weird, creepy, glowing thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, um, do, cool. So we got a long rest. Technically, no. no. Okay. We've just been traveling. Um, time. Do we get XP? No, wait, never mind. We so don't do XP. It's only when we kill bosses. I'm going to do that with advantage. That is... What the fuck? He has a fucking... Hold on. Okay, I see what happened. Hold on a second. I didn't do it. Right. Damage is fucking roll, son of a bitch. Here we fucking go. There we go. He's doing his modifier wrong. Hmm. He examines it, looks it over, knocks on it, licks it, <laughs> nods, takes some notes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I gotta lick the hmm. marble. I gotta date the marble. I believe this object is from Lamania, the plane of nature. I believe that it is reflecting only Savio because they have a connection to the primal magics, because they are a ranger. Hmm. That is why they and they alone are being reflected. Okay. Uh, so when I said that bullshit about druids being, rangers being sort of druids, yeah. that was kind of Attracts. right. Yeah. yeah, you're actually getting really closer. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I'm a paladin. You're divine magic. Yeah, so 
Why do I show up when I look like her? It's because it reflects whatever looks like them. So it just reflects you reflecting them. That's why it does that. Yeah. It's like, that is a ranger. Anything else that looks like that person will also be reflected. That's how it works. Okay. So, oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, you could crack have... open that scroll. I'm glad you didn't, because if you cracked it open, it would have let out an enormously loud hissing sound. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was you skeptical. Made right, you made the right fucking call out open it. <laughs> I'm going to take out the token and say, oh yeah, when we put this light near it, it starts glowing more, and I like... Zoom. So oh, I hold it far away so it doesn't. He take takes out his planes of glass and goes green, red, blue, violet. Hmm. It seems to have a connection to it in a divine way. I believe Ooh. that the tokens of this item are related to the people who perhaps summon it or relate to it. But I couldn't quite say for the time being. Can I reach my hand out for a token? Um, there's only the one. Yeah, sure. I just reach my hand up for the What are you going to do with it? I have an idea. What's your idea? It's a stupid idea. Let's yeah, not what's your stupid see, idea? I want to see what happens if I can channel Divinity into it. Huh? It's actually kind of interesting. You want to try that? Yeah, sure. So yeah, I'm going to grab the token, stand very close to it, um, put the token in, like, in this hole area, mm -hmm. and then I want to burn my channel Divinity, channeling it into the token. Uh, what do you want to get out of it? Um, answers. Answers? Answers. Give me one question. I want to know what this dodecahedron is. Sure. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Is this a magical effect? It's flat. Shit. So give me that word and say, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, get ready for the Lord dump. Fuck yeah. yeah. All right, you're going to figure out exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to take you all a while. <laughs> I'm so glad I showed up. While he's doing that, can I mess with the scroll and try to open it? Yeah, go ahead. It's, um, I'm going to tell you up front, you can tell it's a DC 30 strength check to break that motherfucker yeah. open. I'll just try it. Keep trying that until you yeah, get it. Yeah. Now, um, you determine that this object is a kind of Lamanian summoning object. Um, you might recall, um, actually, you weren't fucking there. This pertains to an entity known as Messy Common. And in times when lycanthropes and shifters and those that cater to the natural and primal magics are being hunted or harmed, Lamania sends down Messy Common to defend them and you can tell that she has returned. Um, you get the sense, and you can feel the things that have done it. You can see uh, attacks upon the silver flame. You can see um, this object being emerged from Karnath. You can see attacks upon a library. Um, and the other things that the, uh, the machine told you in its mists um, cause the nations of men to start muttering and turning against lycanthropes and shifters, and you can see that they're making movements against them, and in anticipation of this, Messy Common has come down early. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, she only murdered those demons that were there because the demons were there. Now, it hasn't yet risen to the crescendo where she will strike out and go on her blood vigil like she did during the Silver Crusade like 120 years ago where she didn't get, uh, she didn't stop until they stopped attacking the Lycanthropes and the Shifters. You can tell that this object is the first sign of her summoning to the mortal plane to defend lycanthropes and shifters. She is here. I'm going to relay that to the professor because he's probably the smartest one out of all of us. He's going to mouth off on that. You're going to tell him to that. He's going, hmm. I recall some records of the fear bulk creature known as Messy Kama who emerges in times of crisis. We believe that this creature has arisen in other times past, but we haven't been able to make it happen or make the connections, but I think this is proof enough. This is her summoning vessel. We know the means of how she comes down, and we should see how we can send her back. Did it all end up turning into a fur ball? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did, yeah. It's going to be really amusing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now, uh, give me those strength saves, Rex, really quick. Mm -hmm. And anyone's welcome to help him, Rex. Guidance. Guidance. 
I'm gonna just give you guidance and help on every single one. Yeah, I'm gonna just oh, keep trying until I get thirty, basically. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Just yeah. go ahead. You, oh, and uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I actually. Yeah, what are the odds of you passing? Let's actually do the math really quick and just. The odds are very slim, actually. Oh wow! That's slim. Yeah, they're they're like it would literally take me a while to actually get to that. Well, we'll do it all with advantage. Uh, anyone want to bless them or actually here? Hold on. Guidance. I have bless. Bless no, them and give guidance. them guidance. They stack. No, because one is saves, the other is skill checks. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot. Uh, oh, I can... Wait! No, wait. that's completely wrong. No, Guidance and Bless do definitely stack. No, they don't. Let me double check. Resistance is saving throws. Guidance is checks. Bless is anything. They do stack. Let's just read this. No, book. I'm pretty sure Bless is read a it. Whenever a target, read it. target yeah. makes... An attack roll or... Oh, yeah, it is. It was weird. Huh. Okay. They okay. Stack. Attack or saving throw. That's not an ability check. Yeah, guidance bless. specifies ability check. Yeah, guidance versus ability checks and blesses for saving throws and attack roll. Wow, that is All really right, fucking it. weird. Yeah. I'll just let them stack. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, now, bless done. and uh, resistance stack. Oh, you can make yes. it 2 Yes, D4. that's right. You can make it 2 d 4 Alright, that's fine. Yeah, so you're gonna fucking pass this one pretty fucking quick then. Let's see what you got here. Okay, close. Fucking getting there. What the fuck again? Oh, you did I told one, you, man. You did, wait, 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 you did wait, wait, wait. one D4, though. Are you rolling off of my sheet? No. Yes, you, you are. are. Yeah. That's why it's not going so fucking high. Hold on a second. No, this is just a straight Oh, wait, no, because he's, 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 he's doing his calculation. Roll. Right. This yeah, he's doing his calculation. Roll. He's not rolling off a shot. But, but you have athletics with advantage. It's an athletics check. I know that, but that's what I'm saying is that I'm doing a straight roll because now I have all these spells and stuff modifying it. That it's like, you know what, rather than putting an he's effect on my modifier. page. Yeah, I'm using my modifiers. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so. He's using plus eight, plus four. There we go. There you go. Look, okay, finally. It lets out this hissing sound. Okay. Um, on the interior is a brass scroll. Ooh, it's written in Infernal. I do not know that. I don't think anyone speaks Infernal. <laughs> uh, I like taking Infernal. I speak so much. Is that close? No. <laughs> it's the language of devils. Wait. Yes, I, I speak Infernal. Oh, okay, go. it says the following. Lichens. I do. Okay, I'm going to read it off then. Lichens. I abhor the sickle bubs. They cannot even manage to do one thing poorly, but two things poorly. Why toe the line between mortal and beast? The briefness of their savagery is sickening. We've been cleaning out their warrens for weeks in the dredges. Once my cohort has once my cohort is weary, I'll slice their throats in the night and take their bodies as spoils. That'll curry favor. And then like there's a couple of things like random nonsense, something very important. And this is the last entry. We're nearly done. I think another week, and the lichens and shifters, and whatever man-beast lurks out here will be gone. Only odd thing was a comet or something that I saw landing over the crest of the nearest hill. We'll be investigating over sundown. And that's what the objects are? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Let me see here. It's about the cut and dry of it. Um, you figured out the messy comet has returned, okay. and that she is going to be going on a warpath to protect shifters and lycanthropes. What you do with that information to stop and catch her is up to your own volition. Now, is there anything we want to do before we close out? We have like seven minutes before we traditionally stop. Uh, do we want to stop and catch her? That's a good question. Like if she's... Well, why don't we ask the machine? That's a good idea. What the machine we... tells us what to do. So we go back to the machine. We tell the machine what we found. What are you going to ask it? Well, first we're going to go to the machine and say that we're submitting the report. Okay. You submit the report. Uh, the machine examines all the information. You basically read out everything you learned. Um, and then gives you a bifurcated vision. One is where you stalk her. And things are hunky-dory. Mm -hmm. The second one is where you don't stop her. And she continues her rampage and starts to topple empires and destabilize the entire continent and start an age of beasts. Well, that's not good. Which lasts for thousands of years. Oh, Not bad. good. <laughs> Rad. So shouldn't stop her. Great heavy metal cover. Terrible reality. Mm -hmm. Sounds like we have yeah, an apocalypse have to prevent. To stop her. Now, if you'd like, um, you there is actually two other locations you actually didn't go to. You only went to the first one, oddly enough. Okay. Um, if we want, we could do the intro segment for the next one. 
and then we can close out. It'll be like ten minutes. Okay. I'd like to call on a uh, meteor storm on the king's castle so I can then loot everything. You do have meteor storm. Wait, what? Storm. You do. You have a spell scroll of meteor storm. Yeah. What the fuck? Why do we have that? Because okay, you roll it at random. I just stop doing random rolls. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me see here. Now, you can go to Zolargo, the realm of the gnomes. Or you can go to Thrain, the theocracy, where someone attempted to assassinate the leader of the Silver Flame. Both the sound good. I know, they're really good. Both sound really good. What do we want to start with? Actually, um, how about we do the interlude section? So, where do we want to go? Do we want to go to Zalargo, where there's gnomes in the library? Yeah. Or do we want to go to Thrain, where someone tried to assassinate the Pope? Library? Want to go to Zalargo? Yeah. I'm okay, okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay with All right. That. Uh, I guess we'll do the interlude section because this one won't take too long. Okay. All right. Um, you load up on your gear. Um, give yourselves a long rest and quickly Ooh. change your loadouts. Sweet. Loadouts? Yeah. Like uh, redo your spells, whatever else you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Top up on potions. Attune your items. So if you want to switch around your attunements, just switch your attunements around. You're still stuck with three. But you can attune to whatever you want. Uh, remember, your dual wands are count as one item. Yeah. I'm gonna have to custom make the things I bought. Yeah, yeah. What if? Then. What if? What? Our uh, our wizard friend gets with the artificer and then makes a staff that's actually just a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of wands. <laughs> that's actually put together. Slap it at the ends of your mithril quarter staff. So you're like, oh <laughs> <gosh. Yeah. laughs> actually, fuck, that's so tight. We're doing it. Yes. <laughs> nice. You can do like a so it's like the wands with the mithril around yeah. it? So I dig it. Oh, I'm I dig awesome. it. <laughs> and we're definitely doing that. <laughs> just dual wielding your... It's just a bunch of wands duct taped together <laughs> to make a staff. Oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. So, um, I'm going to say for this one that I guess you all want to take a kind of casual getting your way down as a Largo. So you charter um, one of the auto chariots and it takes you down to the roads. They're heavily safe. Uh, you eventually come across an encampment. You've been traveling for a few hours. You start off early in the day. You're about halfway to your destination. Um, and you can see that there's like um, a kind of small little hovel. There's a couple places where you can rest for the evening. Do we want to set up camp here? Question. Uh, before yeah, we up? You know, yes. bug it off from uh, home base, Yeah. can I um, tell the professor, like, hey, I need another bag of holding. <laughs> Use your bag of holding. Okay. <laughs> Remember, you can also requisition uncommon items from him at will. So if you like, I want an uncommon item, he just gives it to you. Can I also have a bag of yeah. holding? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, just like, here you go. He Sweet. takes out his takes out his bag, this full of bags. <laughs> bag here, of bags. Here, everyone just fucking take one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait. Would the professor be interested to know that we shunted ourselves to the plains? <laughs> you do smell like ozone. <laughs> All right, so you arrive at this little shelter. One minute, let me... Okay. And we can do it again with just their bags of holding. It's pretty... I like it. It's such a stupid idea. Like <laughs> um, of course, uh, if you fuck up coming back, um, I'm going to make it worse each time you fuck up. So it's oh, like, yes. you're inside Ostakala, the demon <laughs> capital of the Waste. You are surrounded by 17 Archdukes of Zariel. Fuck. <laughs> and they like to eat wizards. <laughs> From the bottom up. Look, <laughs> look. If anyone messes with us... I have a lich transformation in my back pocket now. Jesus. <laughs> you do it in front you do it in front of the devils and they're like, you know that we have true sight, right? And then they can Well, alters oh wait. Yeah. No. All illusions. No. Everything. Well it's not no. an illusion. No, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's, an illusion? it's literally it illusion magic. Yes. yes. <laughs> you can't do it. Trust me, my players try this. They have true sight and I yeah. I literally had a guy with a guy paint himself, because paint doesn't count. <laughs> he painted himself as a tree, and he hid in the corner with some branches, and they didn't yes. roll high enough to detect yeah. him. And they were like, how? And I was like, you're just really, really good at makeup. He went to Juilliard. <laughs> this is why practical effects are, are superior. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. I had, when they were attacked by uh, the big bad evil lich in my Wednesday game, I had her literally hide under a hollow rock that she made out of paper mache. And they didn't find her until she came out, and then <laughs> dual cast power would kill him. Too. It was incredible. All right, so anyway, um, you're here. Yes. There's a really weird game that they are playing. Um, you arrive, and you see that there is a tiefling woman mm -hmm. who is collecting money from a variety of commoners who are walking away muttering about, like, damn tieflings and their sneaky, tricky games. And you see them kind of kicking rocks around. 
Huh? Yeah, it's racist. It's racist. It's racist, yeah. <laughs> And so, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, what, what am I gonna do? All right, let's just go in a little bit here. Um, now you sit up your auto chariot. See, there's like the, there's like the chariot in front there on the left is not yours. The one on the right is yours. It's slightly bigger than it looks. Um, she gestures to a lot of you. Hello, would you like to try a game? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Now let me load up this weird fucking game. Where is it? Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. We're gonna play a game here. I'm gonna roll five, six sides. Huh? I, I know it's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll five, six-sided dice, right. and based off of this dice, there is a calculation in my head, and that calculation will be consistent every time I roll the dice. It's always the same calculation. It's the same everywhere, and you have to guess what the number is that I determine from the dice that are rolled. The game is called The Petals Around the Rose. Okay. If you win, I will grant you the order of the potent of the rose and bestow upon you a gift. But if you lose, you must pay me 10 gold. Okay. Do you like that? Yes. I'm really bad at math. Okay. Uh, this one isn't technically math. It's just figuring out what the pattern is. Okay, let me see here. Okay, right, I have the number in my hand. She's already calculated it. We have a two, a six, a five, a six, and a six. Okay. Wait. What is the number? Six. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. It was four, not six. Let's do that again. Wait. Shit. Oh. Uh, you, you give us more time. So the number that's in her head out. is. It's calcul. It was four the previous round. But you didn't give us enough time to see what the things were. All right, hold on a second. It was two, three sixes, Oops. and something else. And a five. All right, let's just five. do it with this one here. Um, all right, I have the number. It's a four, a four, a six, a two, and a one. Now you lost the previous round, so you owe her 10 gold, so keep that in mind. Mm Zero. Okay, now give us a second to Yeah, sure, out. go ahead. I'll try to figure out why the hell it's zero. I had this thing buried in the archives of my bewildering riddles. <laughs> it's not really a riddle, it's a logic game. There's a way she is determining the score. Oh, also note, the score will always be zero or an even number. It will never be odd. Good to know. And remember, Petals Around the Rose is the name of the game, and that's basically the only hint you get as to how well she's doing it. Do you wish to go in? I have the number. You said it's always going to be an even number oh, or zero, it. right? It's yes. always zero or an even number. Two. Okay, you got to stop. Yeah. Two? Two? I'm going to say zero. All right. Actually, four. I said. Hmm. Okay. I said two. I know, but you said four, which is why I looked at you. Uh, I'm sorry. Like to go again? No. You're worth thirty gold now. Can I look up how many petals are? No. I think it's something to do with modular arithmetic, but I'm still trying to figure. You can out make a roll to yeah. get a little bit of a hint if you'd like. No, just give yes. me. Because this one is actually pretty goddamn difficult. I like my money, so I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Oh no, my hundred thousand gold! I mean, yeah. Oh, can the treasury? I'm at that expense? point where I'm like, okay, if I'm splitting hairs okay. over a math riddle, I'm. I, I got a roll care. intelligence check, and I can tell you where it is. 
Wait, I have to roll an intelligence check to, to try to figure out. Twenty-one. If you can figure out in person. Yeah, if you figure out in person, yeah, if you figure out it in person, I will give you a better reward if you try to roll it in, in character. Now remember, you can do this forever because you have a okay. Meeting. What if, what if we in check just for a hit? Does that diminish our reward? The only hint you get is pedals around the rose, is the key. The name of the game is very important. Pedals around the rose. Right. The score will always be zero or an even number. You have to figure out how the number is reached. In this example here, it is four. Is there significance to the color of the dice? No. Okay. Only numbers. I actually don't know why they made them different colors. It's actually kind of annoying. Yeah, that, like, that was throwing me off. Uh, I'll go one more time. Okay. Not to try to figure it out. Well, yes, to try to figure it out. But... All right, I have the answer for this one. Just a sec. What does the number? One, three, one, four. I think it's zero for this one. Zero. All right. But I want them to try. Mm -hmm. Muse, what is your guess? Three, four. Just a sec. Zero. Zero? Sure. All right. The answer is two. Okay, just a sec. I'm, we can just say that I give up because okay. I'm going to spend half an hour doing this until I get the answer, so. All right, um, with boot your uh, check, I will PM you what it is because I want to preserve the mystery of this weird fucking puzzle forever. Um, so I'm going to send it to you really quick. One minute. Son of a bitch. I think I know some, a trick to this, though. No, wait, because this one's two, not zero. Fourteen. It comes into... What was it? Fourteen that turns into... Oh. All right, you want to try them? Do I want to try them? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Say, I want to go. All right, boot, you want to try? Yeah. All right, then let's roll the dice and give me what the answer is. Zero. Wait. Wait, wait, don't say anything yet. All right. Uh, four, one, four, one, one. Wait, let me reread this. Six, seven. You're right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes, the answer is zero. Ah, were you so skilled in the ways of the logical arts? I will bestow upon you this token of my esteem, the order of the petals of the rose. And there's actually a really cool magic item. Um, it's actually on her person. I have to drop it into your inventory. So Let's see here. I want to try. You want to? Yeah. Go ahead. Tell me if you can figure it out. Well, you have to roll the dice game. There you go. It's under your boot section. It's called Pennant of the Order of the Petals of the Rose. Sweet. She hands it to you. It's basically a little origami pennant of a rose that is strangely made out of ruby, as if someone folded rubies deep into the shape of them. But we will have Cajon go. What is the answer? Zero. That is not correct. It is ten. Four. Oh, and you win sixty gold. Ah, oh, sweet. Right. Anyone else want to go again? Ten. 
No, I'll figure out how this works when I get home. Okay, I'll go again. All right. Wait, what was it? Wait, what, what was this one? Ten. Five, okay. four, three, three, three. That one was ten. Okay, you're good. All right, last one. I already have the number on this one. Zero. You're correct, but why? Mm -hmm. Ignore the first and third die, add the last three there. No. If it's an odd number, it's zero. No. No? No. Nope. She hands you an order of the pendant of the rose. I am going to plop that into your inventory from Boots's inventory. I did it right. Yep, now you have it. She bestows upon you the pendant of the rose. Am I right about if the answer is an odd number, the calculation is an odd number, it's zero? No. No? Well, does anyone want to do anything else, or are we going to retire for the evening? Are we setting up camp here? Yeah, setting up camp mm -hmm. here. Uh, so, if the tiefling stays around, he's just going to flirt with them a little bit. All right, fine. Uh, we'll do that next session so we can do a little bit fresh. Okay. All right, congrats, everybody. Um, all did a good job today. Increase your HP maximum by five. Mm -hmm. Did a very good job today. Um, actually, increase it by ten. Uh, you did a really stupidly good job Ooh. against that goddamn glitch. You made him look like a clown. All right, take care, everybody. We will see you back on May the 1st is our next session.